because I do happen to still have the Halloween stinger set. I can, I can, what was the, oh, what was the normal one that I was using? It was this one. All right. Things might be a little fucky, but hello, hello, welcome. We're back. We're back to Detective Lyra. And I got home fully 20 minutes ago. And so things are, things are a little fucky. Things are just a weedle bit fucky. Um, of me just trying to like, I realized that I forgot to change it back from the Halloween one. Like fully, fully like 20 minutes ago when I got home and I was like, oh shit, got too much stuff to do. Which is why there's a bunch of test messages <laughs> in chat because I was checking that chat was functional. And it, 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 it is, it works, but for now there's going to be a whole bunch of test messages. So I'm relying on you guys to hopefully fill chat with things that are not test, 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 test. Hello, Last Legends. Thank you for helping push my test messages out. I was like, I was like, oh, the thing is they're going to be, they're going to be in the, in the chat room, but they're not in the chat room. And Twitch chat doesn't show you the history of the chat from before you're in the chat room, so it's fine. I can put all my test messages to make sure everything's working. But you know what does remember? <laughs> you know what does remember the things in the chat room? Uh, my chat overlay. <laughs> so it's here. But oh, you you had to had to sign in to get the chat. Wow. Signing in. Yeah, cues cues are terrible and evil. Code is bad. I've been doing a lot of code today, and it's been it's been a struggle. I gotta fix the mustache. The mustache is wrong. I'm trying to have the mouth be visible, but the mustache be around, and it's not working. Oh my gosh. OBS is OBS is a nightmare. There we go. Good enough. Yeah, code is. I've been staring at a lot of code today, and it's just like, why? Like the thing, the thing is so simple. It's like that the actual logic of what this thing should do is like not that complicated. And yet it is 10,000 lines of code. <laughs> and it's like, no, this is not, this is wrong. This is not supposed to be 10,000 lines. This should be like, I don't know, 300 or something. Uh, but it is 10,000 lines. But yes, bye bye spooky overlay. Hopefully things are not too broken on this one right now. Things are a little broken. Yeah, 10,000 lines for like this one, this one file, this singular file is like 11,000 lines. And it's like, what the fuck? The thing is, I am apparently a masochist and all of the code that I ever deal with is like this. <laughs> all of the code that I ever see is like a single file. Who makes a file that big? The Linux fucking kernel. Every fucking file is like 10,000 lines. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's so long. It shouldn't be 10,000 lines. <laughs> Send him a zip bomb, 10 billion terabytes. I should. They should just make this code shorter. It's, it's so long. It doesn't deserve to be this long. But... You know what? We're not writing code anymore. Code is done. Life is over. Um, <laughs> life is over. Work is over. Work is over and work is done. And now the only thing that matters is gaming. And that's, that's really the most important thing in life, right? Video games, truly the most important thing in life. <laughs> life is over only when we don't have video games and we have more video games now so everything is okay <laughs> joe pr to make the entire linux kernel a single file so it runs faster honestly you might you might be able to convince some people there's some very weird like stuff in the linux kernel of like like i really hate the the the, the indenting in the linux kernel is um they use eight space tabs for indentation in the linux kernel and so they do a bunch of like weird hacky things to not have to indent too many times because it makes the lines too long and makes it hard to read. But so there's a bunch of like weird and bad code practices specifically to avoid having to indent too much. Like there's go-tos everywhere and it's to avoid having to indent. And it's like, <laughs> this is wrong. 
<laughs> this is not how this is supposed to go. But yeah, we're back to John D. Elysium and his wacky and terrible adventures. And we don't have to think about code any longer. Everything is okay now. Don't have to think about the scary and terrible code. Just have to think about drinking enough water to not die. The creator of Disco Elysium is suing the corporation? Fuck yeah, I hope they win. I hope... Yeah, hope he wins. Wait, was it only one person? Or was it like a team? This feels like a huge game for one person. But yeah, hopefully he wins. Hopefully he's successful. I hope that they're able to get their game back. Yeah, the week's been the week's been pretty good otherwise. I mean, I'm trying to like make more plans for things, and so I've been real sleepy. So today is maybe going to be unusually cozy, where it is normally a little less cozy, just because I'm real tired today. Uh, but every time I say that things are going to be like cozy and low energy, they're not. So, <laughs> so, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But it's been an alright week, just like, work is picking up, and it's gonna like continue to pick up for the next like six weeks. So, that's fine, everything's okay. How's your guys' week going? Are you guys doing okay? But yeah, okay, so summary. How was my day after Halloween? It's been fun. Are we one day? We're two days after Halloween, right? It's the second, it's the second. Uh, it's been fine. I mean, my Halloween plans were basically, were basically play Owl Oni, which, okay, the thing about Owl Oni, apparently, apparently if you can actually hold down the arrow keys and, like, you will actually, like, move way faster. So, so like, part, like, a, a big part of the issue in Owl Oni was that I can't hold down the arrow keys, and so, like, we were supposed to be able to outrun the guy, like, way more easily than we were actually outrunning the dude. <laughs> yeah, and then playing it really small, I was actually just playing the game in, like, super hard mode. Like, I couldn't have a single wrong step, where, like, apparently you're normally supposed to be able to, like, make a few wrong steps, and it's been okay. So, <laughs> that's, uh, that's all me. That's all on me. But yeah, you let you you went to a party. I hope it was a fun party at least, even if it's gonna take a long time to recover. But I hope you at least had fun at your party. But yeah, parties are so exhausting. It's like like I don't know, what am I supposed to do? Just like yell at people for like hours? <laughs> it paid off with more content. Nice. More Halloween party content. <clears throat> I'm glad it worked out. Yeah, in Last Legends you have to... Oh, it paid off more content for the, the hard mode in Owl Oni. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. But yeah, in Last Legends, interviewing people seems really hard. I was hearing some people talk about interviewing earlier today. It was actually really depressing. They were like, we're only hiring interns who aren't looking for full-time jobs. Don't talk to us if you want full-time jobs. We don't know what we're doing next month. And I was like... Uh, <laughs> cool. I'm not on the job market for like a few more months, so it's fine. It's fine. It's just awkward to like come into the job conversation and be like, yeah, actually, we're not hiring. Oh, yeah. Stand in the corner and look lost at parties. Yeah, I always try to talk to people, but it's so hard to hear people and it's so hard to like talk loud enough that it's always just like... If I wanted to talk to people, I could, like, do this not at a party. I could, like, do this somewhere else. So it's like, why am I at a party? But talking to people is fun, at least. But yeah, interviews are awkward if people don't know the what they're doctors, talking about. Yeah. A height window. The hawthorn branches scrape the glass like bony fingers. 
<laughs> they don't know I'm waiting for Lyra to start streaming. Yeah, I've definitely thought about those, like, they don't know I'm an anime girl at, 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 like, parties and stuff. I definitely feel that, like, playing Fortnite, where, like, half of the people are anime girl characters. It's like, but I'm the realest anime girl. Those Fortnite anime girls don't know that I'm an anime girl, too. <laughs> I guess I could be an anime girl in Fortnite, too, but I would have to pay money to Fortnite. And... That requires spending money, <laughs> which is a thing I haven't done. Though I did want to get, there was a Fortnite skin from like Easter last year that was a chick, like a chick, like a, like a young chicken, you know, like a chick wearing, wearing like an Easter egg, but just like as, as boxers basically. And it's like a giant buff chick. And it was incredible, and I actually, like, I'm, I'm sad that I didn't get that Fortnite skin, because it was glorious. Hello, Xenogun. Wednesday is going okay. It's been a busy week, but life is good. How's your Wednesday going? How's your week? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little progress in this game as we chat. You see two, maybe three bushes, grown into a single thicket over a period of circa... 50 years. It takes time for a hedge like that to form. Thanks, visual calculus. It's not time yet? Why is there a minus 12? It's not time yet. Oh, right. Where did we leave last time? Exciting stuff where we left off last time is that um, we think, or at least we know who the eighth Hardy Boy is. We found it's a woman who is running drugs for the Union, and she is the eighth Hardy Boy. She is the the eighth set of boots that was dealing with, like, hanging up the dude. So we know who that is. We haven't caught up to her, but we know that she exists and we're trying to find her. The next thing to do on that progress was to talk to the Hardy Boys about her, which is why I'm in here. And then I think we can go back and talk to the lady who was part of the actual like company and um, talk to them to figure out, like, like get more information from her. Because at that point, we will have addressed the like union drug smuggling thing. And so she will be willing to give us more information. But yes, hello, hello. I have, there's been, a, there's been chat to catch up on. But yes, hello, hello, Scully. How's how's it going? You were streaming grounded, right? I was I wanted to drop by and watch, but unfortunately work work was important today, and I had to actually pay attention, which was sad. Sometimes I can do work without paying attention, and today was not the day to like not focus at work. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, we we learned quite a bit about the world. The world is fucked up. The world is fucking wild. There's, it's not just a regular world. There is the pale in between everything. Uh, and it's just, it's like dark space. It's just like dark matter that you have to fly through. I realize I can actually show you guys the Fortnite skin that I was talking about. I can just download, save image of this Fortnite skin so I can show you guys. All right, all right. Every time I have to interact with OBS during the stream, it's like, oh my God, what's happening? What am I doing? All right. Check, browse, image, file. Where did it go? No, it doesn't consider this an image file. It did it. Save. No, no, no. All right. One of these days. Is a WebP file, does that count? Yes. All right, this is him. This is the boy. This is the Fortnite skin. <laughs> oh, we're talking in old voice. I realize I'm pretty sure that I put a time... Uh, into the Uwu team. Also, hello. <laughs> hello, Hanna. How's it going? Um, wow, there's been a lot of chat while I was, while I was pulling up, while I was pulling up the chick. I got, okay, I have to set a timer. And if I keep doing this, I'm never going to set the timer. What did I say? Five minutes or three minutes? We're going to go with five because I can't remember. 
Oh, okay. So the timer is just on my phone because I don't feel like figuring out how to set up a timer in OBS right now. So we have the Uwu voice. We have the Uwu voice timer. So this is the Fortnite skin that I think is funny. <laughs> the Uwu Redeem. This is the Fortnite skin that I think is funny. It's a, this is not very uwu. I keep falling into British instead of uwu. But this is the Fortnite. It's a, it's a fucked up little chick. It's a weird little chick that's wearing an egg. <laughs> and I think it's funny. And so I like the uwu. Or wait, fuck. I like the chick. I'll wait, I'll wait. Okay, okay. But yes, Evwa has a twin. Evwa has a twin. That looks exactly like Evwa, except one of them has an eye that um that is lazy. One of them has a lazy eye and the other one doesn't. And we don't actually know which one we've been talking to. The boy <laughs> I sound vaguely Bostonian. Look, um I'm trying to do the Uwu voice. I'm trying I'm trying very hard to do the Uwu voice. <laughs> <laughs> I am just, I am not, I am not born and bred of the Uwu. <laughs> and so the Uwu voice is difficult. But okay, I'm glad, <clears throat> I'm glad that work was, work is, you just said work is important. Yeah, work is, work is sometimes important. Yeah, work. <laughs> I'm like going to New Yorker. Uh. Alright, Uwu. <laughs> okay, okay. The uwu, and maybe if I talk in a higher pitch, it will be more uwu. But yeah, work is important. Important. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Um, I thanks for asking. <laughs> thanks for asking, Scully. Scully, I'm doing okay. Um, I just had to had to do a lot of thinking today at my work, which is a little bit hard. Sometimes it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Am I unintelligible? Can you not understand me? <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm uh, I am in pain right now. The number of viewers keeps going up, and I'm concerned that people are tuning in right now who have never been here before and that this is the first thing that they, <laughs> that they, are, that they are seeing of me. <laughs> if this is you, you should know that this is, I'm, <laughs> there, are, there are weird voices, <laughs> but it's not usually, it's not usually the uwu and uh, the, the uwu is, I will figure out how to do the uwu so I can be better. I'm doing the uwu voice for you guys next time, okay? We're gonna have a good, a good uwu time. Yeah, this is the, this is the uwu virus. <laughs> Unimaginable suffering. <laughs> that is what I am experiencing right now. This is the pain. This is maximum pain. Everything hurts right now. I am struggling <laughs> to do this right now. <laughs> okay, okay, we're almost done. <laughs> 20, 20 wines of coke. 10,000 wines of coke that I was looking at today. The code was so long. I don't know why they decided to write the code like this. It was so fucking long. <laughs> hello hello we have 40 seconds left i'm almost done with the uwu we are almost free so we will not have to touch the uwu any longer <laughs> 25 seconds it's almost over we are almost finished <laughs> with the uwu Okay, okay, any last, any last lines? Oh no, 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 no. Hello, Ciro, God, thank you. Okay, I'll put, I'll put out the timer for the uwu once the other uwu shows up. More uwu. 
Okay, okay. Was we we starting the uwu timer? The uwu timer is back for another five minutes. I think maybe we can try to play the game while we do the uwu at the same time. Maybe maybe that will be fun. But see, I'm also really curious in this game. So we had this visual calculus success, and there's a there's a perception roll that we can try to make, and the perception roll has a minus 12 it's not time yet but like what does it's not time yet even mean <clears throat> like what are we what are we trying to look at that it's not time yet i think we can try to put some clothes on to make the the perception check more likely because because i want to know you know i want to i want to know i want to like it's like the speed one, right? Yeah, it's not it's not time yet. Feels like we need to do something else before we know. But <laughs> but I wanna know. I wanna know what we need, like what? It feels like we could we could like get on a weird path for the game if we make this check before we are supposed to. And I kinda wanna see that, you know? That seems like it would be kind of funny. So I'm going to try to make our perception high. It doesn't seem like there's anything we can do to improve our perception. <laughs> yeah, I got stats up. Stat? Yeah. We have some stats. We can probably raise our perception if we want to. Where's... Yeah, we have, we have one skill point left. So I realized that we can apply the skill point to raise our mo morale so that we can have more than one morale. But I think that it's funny that we only have one morale right now. <laughs> we only have one morale and so we keep almost dying to morale. And I think that that's funny. So I'm gonna keep it at only having one morale. Okay, we don't have any clothes that can... <laughs> one more wow. Uh-huh, one more wow is all we have. So I don't think there's any clothes that can increase our perception any longer. And so I'm gonna... Or any more. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna just do the Behind check. The dock workers, the I wanna see if we can leader. make it. <laughs> the branches scrape the glass like bony <laughs> I'm watching you guys. You guys are t typing like what I'm saying, and I can't. I can't even understand what you're typing for what I'm supposed to be saying. So I don't. I don't understand how you guys are understanding. But <laughs> I hope it's working. I hope you guys are having fun. <laughs> We are missing some data. Yeah, I think we are missing some data, but I think it's funny you see two, maybe to try to do the check before we actually a have the information. Over a period of circa we should be able years. to try again, it takes time assuming like, like once we get the information, we should be able to try again on the on the check. But I think it's funny to try to... We just think it's funny if we can get it now. We would have to quit. But I think it's funny if we quit. Quit. <laughs> if we crit. Quit. It will be funny. So I think I'm gonna try it. Try it. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. Just black tangles Oops. like the hair of an old woman. <laughs> Motionless. The wind in the yard doesn't reach the hawthorn. Nor does the light come in from this window. Okay, I didn't think that we would take damage from that. But we actually took damage. So, whoopsie. Okay, we're almost, the, it's almost over. The, the woo-woo is almost over. It's, we're almost free. <laughs> Soon we will be free from the woo-woo. And we can talk to the hardy boys about <clears throat> the woo-woo. We can talk to the hardy boys about our, the girl. Okay, we... Looks like. The circus left town, but the clowns are still here. I'm not a clown, sir. Well, I'm the whole circus. The circus is still in town. Ooh. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> we are free. I am free. Okay, I have to drink water. <laughs> Kim saying, <clears throat> Harry, what the fuck? <laughs> Harry, what the fuck is wrong with you right now? Oh, a British accent redeem too. <clears throat> I think there is a stretch redeem already. It might be accidentally off. <laughs> but there is, I think there's a stretch redeem. <laughs> but the British accent redeem? That does sound fun. Stretch! Mm. Alright, one of these days we're going to actually make progress on the game today. <laughs> Switch. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Haley, what is wrong with you? <laughs> All right, we're back. <clears throat> we're back. We're talking to Harry. Or not, we're talking to our Hardy Boys about what the fuck is going on. We've connected you to the drug trade, Titus Hardy. Like hell, you have. There is no local drug trade. This place is as clean as a rifle. I feel like a rifle isn't very Go clean. Go back to Jamrock and ask the local junkies how clean your streets are in precinct <laughs> 41 kilos. Well, the thing is, I don't even remember how clean the streets are in my place, so we don't even know. <laughs> Nothing to compare it to. We'll do that. In the meantime... Did you know that there's an abandoned lorry at the intersection that was used to move raw ingredients for drugs from Terminal B to Jamrock? Who well, came with the real one? Kim hitting him with the real hard questions. The person driving it was present at the hanging. It was one of you. We've connected the footprint. Detective, do you want to deliver the coup <laughs> de grace? Oh yeah, bottle of water. Yeah, we were talking about the bottle of waters in the only stream a little bit. Because I was trying to, I was trying to do a posh British accent, but I, like, I don't know how to do a posh accent. I only know how to do, like, a fucking Cockney but a lot of accent. <laughs> and even that, it's probably not a real Cockney. I just know how to say Tuesday in it, except it's not even Tuesday. <laughs> now we we might have at some point learned what year it is, but I have forgotten. So the thing is, if I don't know, does Harry really know? <laughs> no, he can't. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what a kilo is. It's true, I basically don't. A kilo is like, it's like 1.6 pounds or something like that, but I honestly have no idea what the weight of a kilo is. You're right. Current year of current century. That's all we ever need. That's all we need to know. Life is good. <laughs> he'll learn from Kuno. Take speaking lessons from Kuno. I imagine he'll uh, he'll learn to love us if we just <clears throat> we just talk like him. <laughs> like upload something to the YouTube. Eventually, I'll upload covers to the YouTube. I'm just I'm like working on things. Things are in progress. Of like. Uh, having covers that I want to upload to the YouTube, like cover videos of songs. And I want to eventually write my own songs and sing those. So, um, but yeah, I think I can upload streams as well. VODs of streams, I haven't because it was not, like, I don't know what the difference is between having them on YouTube versus having them, like, I guess they stick around longer on YouTube. Um... But it was, like, not clear if there was demand. But if there's demand, I can do it. I, I think it's fine to do it. People have done it. But, yeah, I can I can upload VODs. <clears throat> because it's year 51 of the current century. Ah, yes, of course, the previous century, also known as what was previously the current century, but it is now currently the previous century. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, work infinitely postponed. I am actually, I am working on covers. It's actually, it's gonna happen. I keep changing which song I want to cover, which is the problem. But I do want to actually, like, do something for Christmas. So hopefully, hopefully it can actually, like, work out by Christmas. But that's the goal right now. The thought forms in your head like a lightning strike branching in the sky. 
You're right, there's no local drug trade except you. We can we can let the lieutenant do it. Thank you. You're right, Titus. There is no local drug trade because it's all controlled by you. You're the drug trade. I feel like it's cooler when it's coming from Kim anyway, so we can we can let Kim have to do it. Okay, yeah, I can I can certainly upload VODs to YouTube if people want to do it, so I guess I will. So thanks. <laughs> I will start uploading them at some point then. <laughs> yeah, I guess the old stuff from like from the boyfriend dungeon and uh, inscription is like basically lost at this point. But I'm a lot more confident in like how the streams are going now, so I feel a lot more comfortable with like uploading things now that I'm actually like more okay with how it's going. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's a mighty interesting theory. I guess that's what you would need to do, theoretically. A big, strong, state-run monopoly would outcompete the runs on the street. Ooh, we can upload them directly by connecting the account? That's exciting. That seems like they might already be connected, potentially. Have I done that? Probably not. But yeah, that sounds great. That sounds easy. Thank you. Yeah, man. Theoretically... That's what you would do to get rid of the gangs, the dealers, even some of the junkies. Is this what they call the vertical monopolies that I've been hearing so much about recently? You would need good, trustworthy people to take their place, of course. Hardy men to run such a monopoly. For the good of the community, of course. Yeah... It is nice of Amazon and Google to cooperate in this way. I guess it's probably, like, beneficial for both of them if people can, like... Like, if people want to upload their VODs to YouTube, YouTube would rather have more content, and Twitch would rather have people streaming on Twitch than on YouTube. So I guess it makes sense. I know that there's some things where there's, like, exclusivity agreements of some extent, but I think it mostly is at the level of, like... Like... You can't stream to YouTube and Twitch at the exact same time. Like, simulcast streaming, and I don't exactly know who it applies to. I haven't really tried to look into it. But I, I think they don't, like, otherwise block you from doing anything other than just streaming on both at the same time. <laughs> yes, but that just sends everyone else to Jamrock, doesn't it? Oh, they've been kicking people off their streets to put them into my district? Well, fuck you all. <clears throat> if you're affiliate, you can do it without being punished. Interesting. Good to know. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff with Twitch rules that's like, they're very not like enforced all the time because they don't always like catch people doing things. And so it's not clear like... Like, what is, like, what's a problem and what's not, I think, sometimes. Just because people can get away with a lot. So it's like, if you see someone doing something, that doesn't mean it's, like, technically allowed. I need to look into this for Saturday for the karaoke that's coming up to figure out, like, exactly what I need to do to make sure that things can, like, stay up on Twitch. Uh, stream on both with a delay on YouTube. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Ah, Twitter and its current just shit. Just the absolute did the absolute insanity happening with Twitter. It's uh there's a lot going on right now. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, so much Twitter. Ooh, streaming on your own websites. Huh. Interesting, spicy. But yeah, I know that music is like one of the most questionable areas. So I'm going to look into that over the next couple of days to figure out what I need to do so that karaoke can like hopefully stay up and maybe I can do something to like get it onto YouTube and still have the audio in some way. Like maybe if I record it myself, then I can upload that to YouTube because I think that Twitch will definitely... um will definitely silence the audio if there is, like, a copyrighted song in it. So, I'll look into it. I'll figure out how to do it. Yeah, no copyrighted music. 
<clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna look into that and figure out how to do it. But you know, maybe, maybe, maybe some amount of copy or er, karaoke can be uploaded to YouTube if I can figure it out. And then you just like non-monetize it, and I think it's okay. Hopefully my voice is fine by then. It was fine today, but it's been really tired yesterday. But yeah, take my time. I don't want to take my time. I want to do everything right now. That's the problem. Is like I just want I just want everything right now. And I know that I need to like take my time and build skills and stuff, but it's like there's so much cool stuff that people are doing and I want to do all of it. Tummy Hurdy is going great right now. Tummy Hurdy hasn't hurt at all in like the last two weeks. So Tummy Hurdy is going really good. I probably need to give it a couple of months before I can start eating garlic again. <laughs> at least a couple more months, which is kind of sad because I would really like to eat garlic again. <laughs> um, but... You know, tummy, tummy hurdy takes priority over being able to eat garlic for now. <laughs> but yeah, we're jumping through a lot of subjects, making some progress on the game, but it's fun to talk to you guys too. So. <laughs> it's okay if progress on the game is slow. We are 5 p.m. on day two. There's probably so much of this game, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. It's a great game. Yeah, you've made it my problem to diverting all the junkies into Jamrock. We haven't done anything, but theoretically, it has to be someone's problem, so it might as well be yours. <laughs> yeah, Cam just staring at us, just taking like 20 minutes to respond to every conversation. But yeah, this is this is day two of Disco Elysium. <laughs> I don't know how many days there are, but they pass pretty slowly. <laughs> yeah, I missed you guys when I was gone for a week. Parents are like, there's like a special type of difficult to get along with that's like exactly your parents, you know? <laughs> Like, exactly, like, your parents just end up being a lot harder to get along with than, like, equivalent people who are not your parents. So I was, like, I was missing you guys. They also, like, they're, like, not weeb at all. And I, like, can't talk about anime or video games or streaming or anything with my parents. I told them, like, two weeks ago that streaming exists and is a thing. And they they like were like wow why did, why would they want to why would people want to watch other people play video games I don't understand it I don't get it <laughs> and so I was like really absolutely cannot tell my parents <laughs> that I am personally a streamer they would not understand <laughs> but yeah parents really don't understand <laughs> Titus. I'm amazed. Where is the same professionalism when it comes to other topics? You're doing great. I hardly have to interfere at all. <laughs> Elizabeth is fucking nagging Titus right now. She's <laughs> like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> wow, you're being so professional. Good job, Titus. I'm so proud of you for like keeping your damn mouth shut. I don't know, Lizzie. I guess theoretical things don't make me emotional. Now, <laughs> was there anything else? I was sort of gonna get my brewski on. Not quite yet, Mr. Hardy. There were eight sets of prints on the crime scene. There are only seven Hardy boys here. We found her, the eighth Hardy boy. My answer is, fuck off. Mind your own business. There is no eighth. Hardy, I run this goddamn scene. We hit a nerve. And here we go. Back to the usual. <laughs> I know, I know. Fatty walked on all fours. He's so fucking fat he left two sets of footprints. <laughs> he did not. Despite everything, the little man is quick on his feet. <laughs> go fuck your mom, Dennis. <laughs> That's more like it was. Good one. You had him. It was Angus on all fours. Anything else you need to know? St 
still our our authority is so bad. Our authority is so low. We're gonna we're gonna kill ourselves again. <laughs> we missed that one. I can't try that one again. Uh, not yet. Not right now. Okay, but now that we've gotten through this one, auto the auto save is so scary. Even though I know that it's just like periodic, I'm so used to it showing up. <laughs> I'm so used to it showing up when games and there's like something terrible <laughs> happening. <laughs> Second round of the gunshot <laughs> to the head. Uh, we still don't have the map. Where? I found the map once. <laughs> yeah, we have the absolute worst authority. We are peak. We are peak pathetic little guy. I don't know. I feel like, though, we look kind of cool. Like, we look like we should be able to establish authority. <laughs> yeah, we absolutely cannot. <laughs> uh, Alright, but we can go back and talk to Joyce, I think, now. Okay, I want to know how we found the map. Favorite authority fail was with the guy who witnessed the murder. We need to go back and talk to him again. I talked to him once, and then it was like, come back after 9pm. And I tried, but then he wasn't there. So I don't know how to talk to him again. We kind of told him not to leave us like our ex-wife. That's so us. That's exactly something that we would do. <laughs> Very in character. Oh my god, where is Joyce? Is she... How far is she? She's pretty far. I should have a crowbar in hand and that should establish enough authority. We have the crowbar in hand and it's clearly not working. Like, she should be paying more attention to us, but we do have the crowbar literally in our hand right now. I do feel like that should give us, at, like, at least a plus one on the authority check. <laughs> Listen to me or I will hit you in the head. Alright. Back to Joyce. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Okay, wait, but we know... How do we report to her about the drug trade that we know about? Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> we would absolutely just hit ourselves. <laughs> Instead of hitting anyone else, we would just swing and miss and whack ourselves with the, the crowbar. It would absolutely happen. Of course. Anything to help. I am sorry. Okay, wait, how do we talk to her? About... About the... About the thing. I just want to talk to her about the person. <laughs> I failed to smash a window. Yeah, we failed to smash a window and Kim had to do it for us. It was very cool though. Kim was just like, let me do that and took it from us. And I was like, damn, Kim, fucking go. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, we were not, we're not successfully able to do it ourselves. Wait, she said that she would help us if we figured out the thing that was going on with the drug trade, right? Like, I don't see the task anymore about the drug trade. Is it, is it in done? But she said she would talk to us once yeah. we knew. Good. What can I help you with? Please. Please. I just want to tell her what we knew. We do have another drug-related task. No. No. Okay. Hello. Don't tell her I don't want to do speed. This time. I don't want to do speed. I just want to have a good, calm, drug-free time with it doesn't include speed. <clears throat> All right, we can try what to talk about the pale. Basic reality. My favorite part of the day. Go ahead, ask me anything. What's this? It no. remains a mystery what you mean by this something close. This isn't about <laughs> you. It's about 
reality. Amphetamines make us a better detective. I'm sure they will. I'm sure. I'm actually surprised that there hasn't been like like a a minus to my abilities because of the like a lack of amphetamines. Like I feel like it would make sense to have just subtraction because we're just fucking drunk and hungover and <laughs> need our drugs. Okay, Kim, please. Is what you nope. want to do. But should you? No. Nope. He expressly stated you shouldn't hear about it. What if it renders you mad? Or catatonic? Or makes you lose your memory again? Fair enough, Volition. Yes. Glad to have been of assistance. The little that I know. I fear I've told you all I know. Okay. Is, Is there anything else I can help you with? Of course. Anything to help. How do I talk about the drug stuff again? I am sorry to have been the bearer of bad. Do I have to like find the actual girl who's missing? <laughs> There's nothing left to lose. Look, we have a shred of sanity left. We have one small shred shred of sanity left that we could still lose. Just an ordinary war. Nothing to see here. Our conception, like, we could just, we could just put, we could just put more points into conceptualization. <laughs> I want to know what's going on. Okay, do we have any more conceptualization? Is there? I want, I want to know what's up with the wall. I'm honestly not sure what else we should, ooh, that shirt. Plus conceptualization. We can get it. We can do it. I'm honestly not super sure what else to do. Just an ordinary war. 72%! Yeah. What Why? the fuck? It was it's 72%! <laughs> no! Why must we stop to look every time? It was so Just high! The chances of getting that were so high. Why did it not work? <laughs> oh, we have the old guys playing the game. Yeah, we did get the bocce ball for them. That we can give them their bocce ball back. The RNG gods hate us. This is, it's honestly so wild to me. Because the thing is, the thing is off stream, I have like stupid luck. Like, I love gacha games because I just have just absolutely insane gacha luck. Where, like, I could pull anything I want, like, without too much trouble. But, like, apparently on stream, apparently any time luck would matter, I just have absolutely god-awful just shit luck. But when luck doesn't matter, my luck is, like, incredible. I'm just straight up Nagito Gomaida. <laughs> <laughs> trying to give you more content by failing at the checks as long as you like it i'm happy to do it as long as you are enjoying me desperately failing at checks i'm fine with it <clears throat> all right we do have their ball for them we are still waiting for a replacement for the bull you sent sinking yeah we got it what is this how are you mocking us this isn't for Pitonk. Well, now, now. It's good no enough. Need to get angry again, Rene. I'm sure the officer tried his best. It's not like there's a bull kiosk here in Martinez. Exactly. I really did try, sir. I tried my very hardest. Trying is worth as much as is accomplished. <laughs> in this case, almost <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Fine. You try to write the wrong. It's still a gun better than actual nothing. Oh yeah, maybe they know about the rifle. That could be spicy. It's a Bell McGrave. 4.46 caliber. Breech loading. Revachal made. Good weapon. Accurate and reliable. Hell yeah. His moves are quick and precise as he first checks the weapon, then aims it at the sea. This man knows firearms. Intimately. Yeah, he, he sure knows his guns. This one's inoperable. The bolt spring is missing and the mechanism is jammed shut. Still a beauty. 
Where did you find him? <laughs> I feel like maybe we shouldn't tell him, but like I want to because I think it's funny. I'm not surprised. There are probably lots of forgotten wartime weapons lying around here. Back in the day, everyone had something stashed away. <laughs> this guy is from Texas? I'm not surprised. There are probably lots of forgotten wartime weapons lying around here. Back in the day, everyone had something stashed away. As for the <laughs> rifle, I don't know what else to tell you. These BM-446s are an antique. No one uses them anymore. The ammunition is impossible to find. <laughs> we found his guard booth. It was his. Yes. The Debardeaux Union pays me to stand vigil during the night. Not out of any political allegiance, mind you. Oh yeah, we know. We can tell. I'm an old man. Don't sleep more than a few hours every night anyway, and money is tight. Yeah, wait, does he know anything about the murder? Yes, it does. Unfortunately, I wasn't working that night. Been on a two-week leave since last Monday. That seems like that was maybe on purpose. It's a private matter. Nothing to do with your investigation. But I want to know. You see, officer. René is the kind of man would rather die than admit he needs medical assistance or, God forbid, sick it. A real man's man is just gonna ride it out. I mean, same. Like, that's us. We are also just absolutely riding out our terrible, horrendous medical problems. So, like, you know what? Birds of a feather, René. We get it. We get you. I'm fine, goddammit. Mind your own business. <laughs> It's nothing. Just got to cut back on coffee. <laughs> yeah, he's just like us. This is actually me. Every time I'm sick, I'm like, it's, I probably just slept weird. I don't know. I probably just need to drink water. It's fine. It'll go away. No one. The bus has been on man since last Monday. There's no other guard. It's just me. Hmm. No one has been guarding the container yard since last Monday. People could just sneak in then. Like, the right to work people could just fucking sneak in. Yes. It's... It's not actually an issue. I mean... Look, officer. The container yard doesn't actually need a guardsman. Never had one before, René. Monsieur Claire had that booth built specially for him. It's mostly decorative. The possibility... Or someone being in there is enough to discourage any ill-minded individuals. Hmm. Evrard created this job for René because <laughs> he knows the Royal Carabiner's pension of honor and PTSD isn't something a man can live off. A decorated Kingsman collecting tear reflects bad on the whole neighborhood. His words. Gaston's kind of kind of shitting on his friend right now. Gaston's like, yeah, my buddy, he's had a bad time, and that doesn't pay the bills. And Everard just gave him a job, just, like, invented a job that he can have. Because, just, it sucks to have him be broke. It's like, that's a... I feel kind of bad for this guy. Like, he seems like he kind of psyched a little bit, but I feel kind of bad for him now, you know? Like, he's, uh... He's had a hard time. <laughs> Everard gets it. We need a whole program. Get the elderly back in the job market. Yeah, it's kind of nice of Everard to actually, like, try to give the guy a job. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with tear collecting. It's my side thing, too. Hell yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to imply <laughs> there's something wrong with that. I do it, too. Everyone does it. It's an excellent side thing. My boy just absolutely dodging the political conversation over here. <laughs> he did kill us multiple times. It wasn't even that he killed us. It's that we died from trying to throw the shot put ball so terribly. We just got so embarrassed and <laughs> being so bad at throwing the ball that we just fucking died. Yes, yes, yes. Can we conclude the topic of my guard boost now? <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, like I said, it would be up anyway, so might as well keep an eye out. It keeps my senses sharp. All right, forty-two percent. As Ray oh, returned thank God. to his partner and back, <laughs> the medals on his chest rattle and glare. 
He keeps his spine straight and his ribcage lifted. First them proud. dub of the day. BTTV not working on stream chat? That's unfortunate. I'll work on fixing that after stream then. I'll figure out what's going on with that. Thanks for pointing that out though. I think it's like the chat that's embedded in the stream. It's not working there. But yeah, I'll work. Huh. It's like a completely different set of things than is like working for me. <laughs> when I look at the chat, because I'm usually watching the chat um in Twitch, cause, just because it's like easier to see. But yeah, I will look into that then. But thanks for pointing it out. BTTV has been like very confusing for me <laughs> to try to like figure out what works for what. Same issue for Yuma today. Okay, BTTV is probably just broken then. <laughs> Not my fault. I don't have to worry about it. Everything is fine. <laughs> Two. The larger one is shaped like a cross, while the smaller metal resembles the sun. Just that is somebody else's problem to fix. The BTTV on call can figure out how to fix that. Not my job. <laughs> they can deal with it. A crowned head in front of two crossed rifles. The medal hangs from a blue striped triangle. It's the Cran de Bravour, Cross of Valor. The cross was the highest battlefield decoration in Suzerain's armed forces, awarded for exceptional bravery in the line of duty, in service of King Frissel I. A small blue star inside an orange sun. It has the word Valiance written below. Yeah, so I mean, this dude was like fucking badass in the war, and his side lost, right? And so he's just like unhappy and poor, and has PTSD from being in the war. Like, that sucks. My bro has had a bad time. The setting sun was a decoration used to distinguish seasoned combat veterans in service of King Frizzle I during the revolution. I feel like pointing this out is kind of cringe, but we're doing it anyway. For bravery. <laughs> For bravery. I'm sure. But I know this uniform's reputation. You are also wondering if I got this for raping women or killing babies. Bruh, I don't know. I barely know my own name. I don't know my ex-wife's name. I don't know anything. Son. We should never forget our past. Bro. <laughs> Lots of mistakes were made back then, but they were also lessons. Bro, that's not, I'm not operating at that level. I am not at the level of like, I'm not just being like, oh, I don't even remember the past. Ha ha ha. Like, no, <laughs> I'm serious. I'm fully serious. We have a ex-wife in the game who left us. She, she left us. <laughs> And we have some terrible, sad notes that we, like, die if we read the note of her saying, like, I can't deal with this, like, you're too fucked up. <laughs> Forgetting those times means the mistakes were for nothing. That all those people died for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Not even here, mentally. Rotating so many Kims. So many Kims just in our head. Our head, our head is just, like, fucking disco music bright rainbow lights and just rotating cams <laughs> that is everything in our head right now bro whoa sounds like you're about to open the gates of conversation this man will literally talk your ear off if you let him wander off to memory lane should we do that i feel like it's telling us that we don't have to listen to him and i don't think he has anything to say about the murder anyway didn't think you had the stomach for it. Kids dance these days. I'm used to that. Uh, you know what? Sure. We'll ask. For doing my duty in the heat of battle. For looking my mortality in the eye. When men like Gaston here are hitting the bushes and shed themselves. He saved some muddy princeling who foolishly strolled into the front line in his gown of velvet and gold. Cool. It was on the first months of the revolution here in Revachel 
Unrest was spreading like wildfire. Marauders had taken most of the Quran and were getting really ambitious. These words mean so little to me. I know what Ravishol is, but Quran is like... We don't even know. <laughs> King Frisell thought he could end it all in one decisive strike. Sent his cousin, Drisson, to put an end to the unrest. Alas, the young Drisson was all piss and no vinegar, wearing a tunic of purple velvet and cockatoo feathers to battle. Even his rifle was gold-plated, shown from five clicks away. Can you imagine the asininity? Yeah, it seems not great for battle. Seems not great. He really despises that Drisont fellow. You know, he has standards, at least, for the royals. That's good. Purple velvet tunic. Hmm. That isn't exactly camo. <laughs> <laughs> to keep the long and bloody story short, Drisont marched us against the partisans in Koron. And when I say march, I mean made us walk into captured enemy territory, single file, like toy soldiers, while he rode in front on his giant red stallion. That's cringe. Fucking cringe, Jerissant. You think that you're you're based because you're wearing your purple velvet, but it's not based, bro. Absolutely not, Poggers, man. You're cringe. Yeah, I think purple has been color for royalty for like a lot of things, right? Because it was like purple dye was generally hard to find. And so purple... Well, like, so and so purple dye was, like, very expensive, and so purple was for royalty. At least that's what I remember hearing. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> you know, you sometimes it's like, I learned this as a child. <laughs> so is it actually real, or is it just fake? That one's real. Glad to know. The rebels were smart. They let us come real close before opening fire. Suffice to say, it was carnage. I got shot in the left shoulder and went down. Just a flesh wound. But just as I turned over, <laughs> the prince fell into the mud next to me. He was missing his lower jaw. That's fucked up. Then his horse, driven mad by the noise and smell of gunpowder, stepped on my oh, leg Jesus and Christ. shattered my knee. Oh, Jesus Christ. I grabbed my sidearm and shot the beast in the head. Then everything went black. Capitaine Arnaud, le fléau des chevaux. I do not know what that means. The bane of horses. The bane of horses. When I came to, it was all over. It was just me and Joe Le Stresson, gurgling in the blood-soaked mud right next to me. The Dink had taken numerous flesh wounds and lost a lot of blood. But despite missing his jaw, he seemed hesitant to die. Tougher than he looked, that one. <sighs> Whatever happened to Johnny Lodger? My jaw is tight. <laughs> right, right. So I grabbed the prick and started crawling. <laughs> Kept going until the 59th Cavalry picked us up. Through some miracle, we both survived. And the jealous freak convinced Frisell to give me a medal for not leaving him to die in his own blood. Peace and shit. You know what? He didn't have to save him, so honestly, fair. He was the commanding officer, and I was on duty, just doing my job. Shouldn't hand out medals for that. Thirteen months later, I received the son for distinguished service. It's not worth mentioning. Not even worth mentioning. You sense he's downplaying it. He did a lot more than his duty. More than anyone's duty. It's in his spine, in his billowing breasts, and untarnished self-worth. Damn, that's honestly, that's a lot, you know? Like, having untarnished self-worth? Like, this guy's got a lot going for him. He's, a uh, like, being proud of your own actions and the life that you led. That's a lot to ask for. That's not something everyone gets. So, like, damn, dude. Hell yeah. The old carabiner stands quietly like a statue. His features motionless. What, Monseigneur Modesty is not telling you? <laughs> Is that he crawled over seven kilometers before the cavalry men found him and Drizon. Two days later, that was. Oh, God. And that even while crawling with mangled half-dead prince on his back, he still managed to murder 
three rebels on his way. Jesus Christ. Is that pride in his voice? It's deep down, but maybe even unbeknownst to the man himself, it's there. He's proud of Renee. Sorry, officer, but <laughs> you're reading me all wrong. I'm a man of peace, and these kinds of bloody heroics are only impressive to men like Rene himself. Certainly not to me. <clears throat> I'm not Im impressed with Rene. Baka. <laughs> oh, is that a, is uptime a command I should add? I can add that. <laughs> I could do that. How did you find the story to be, officer? Oh, I was trying to avoid having to, like... I was trying to avoid having to, like, express an act. Uptime should be a default command. Nightbot! Nightbot, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Bad Nightbot. Everything is broken on Twitch today. <laughs> oh, it'll get fixed. I'll work on fixing it later. I don't know why it's not working right now. But all right, I'm gonna, I don't really want to express an opinion on this. Like, he seems cool, but I'm not really a monarchy person, so, like, sure. Bon dieu. You and Gaston must be related. His blood runs yellow, too. Maybe, maybe, but also bear in mind, officer. They don't end this out for anyone with a service record. <laughs> oh, no, you have to get shot. Repeatedly. And you need to get your hands bloody too. Really, really bloody. Yeah, we've killed exactly three people in our life, and like that's all I want. I would like to not kill significantly more than three people. That seems like a that seems like a fine, but like perfectly doesn't need to be any higher than that number of people to have killed in our life. Do not speak of what you know nothing about, Poutrun. Duty is something you will never understand. All right, thanks for the story, Rene. Bah! There were many such stories in those days. Many such men, too. True Eversholians. Men with backbone. Oh, yes, Rene, yes. Men were bigger, girls were prettier, <laughs> and everyone wore the fascia. Lord, please, bring those days <laughs> back, if you can. I'm not! Getting into this with you again. <sighs> Officer, was there anything else? You should try to come up with a heroic story of your oh, own. Oh, no, we Impress shouldn't. Impress this old soldier. I think we shouldn't. <laughs> I'm going to do it, but I think we shouldn't. Unfortunately, <laughs> there doesn't seem to be anything worth mentioning among your achievements. You should resort to good old lying. Uh, lying uh, isn't my style. Uh, <clears throat> we're above lying. But of course, oh, crass. <laughs> looks like they're waiting for you to speak. Mm. Ah, yes. King Philip III on his steed. A reminder of what Revachol once was. Oh, absolutely. At the <laughs> mercy of a cocaine-snorting tyrant who emptied the treasury so he could sleep on a bed of gold. Yeah, Kim, I totally have my gun. No, no, we, uh, we're, uh, we're an honest man. We're a man who has never told a lie in our entire lives. <laughs> we are the most, the most honest of all men. A superpower, feared and respected. A testament to what this country can be under <laughs> the leadership of a true king. Someone who knows how to rule. What about cocaine? Oh, Paul Philip was a big fan of the purple nose candy the nobility loved so much. A cocaine connoisseur of sorts. <laughs> His egocentricity is borderline legendary. Hell yeah. You can't even take the responsibility for yourself. How could you fathom the responsibility weighing on the shoulders of a ruler? Well, I mean, I mean, I guess I can't talk. I do a lot of drugs. <laughs> like, we have done many drugs in our life. We, I don't think we get to shit on the king for having done drugs. That's why the Philippian kings use cocaine. For clarity of vision. To aid in their work. Regnum cocaineum. Revachol's finest years. <laughs> that's a... I feel like that's, that's going a little too far. That's a little too pro-cocaine here. 
to say that to say that cocaine gives you clarity of vision. That's a uh, I'm I'm not I'm we're not here to support cocaine to that extent. Of course, clarity of vision, awareness. Mm -hmm. Philippe Zito was even brought into this world with the help of cocaine. The court medic administered the dose to his mother when she was in labor, <sighs> and it is well known that with the help of cocaine, only the purest of course. He was able to connect with higher realms. <laughs> the drugs were better than then. <laughs> Oof. He's just making excuses for the king's habits, isn't he? Well, let's just move on. I'm listening. <laughs> um, I mean, we don't really have anything else to talk to him about. Like, we returned the bull, but like, but like, it's not really anything. Save the game. Mm. Alright. I do wish I could find a map. <laughs> yeah. My man is full on copium. Okay, we want to figure out where the girl went. But I don't know how to do that. I uh, saw you poking around in Lady Driver's lorry. Is she in trouble? Can't disclose the facts of an official investigation, sir. It's that bad. Man, what should I do? What should I do to help her? There's hope. Yeah, maybe I should just keep my head down and work on my rhymes while I can. Cool. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Okay, 97% chance to get him a, to give him a good poem. Like, we can do this. Our conceptualization is so high. We can absolutely do this. Please, God. Wait. There's <laughs> something here stored away in some dusty corner. It starts like... A mirror's temperature is always zero. It is ice in the panes. It's camera in an x-ray. Whoa. What else? It's a chalice held out to you in silent communion. Silent communion? That's good. Where gaspingly, you partake of a shifting identity, never your own. Dang, that's some great shit. You came up with that yourself. <laughs> I may be an actual poet. No matter. It's a fine stanza. You're not so bad after all, for a cop. Hell yeah. They're more often in the fists than rhymes, see? Let alone honesty and verse. There's all kinds of folks. The lieutenant looks at you in silence. A curious look in his eyes. Nodding slightly. <laughs> Just being a little more pro-cop than Kim expects. The thing is, we don't remember all the shitty cops back from home. So, like, it's fine. Kim is the only other cop we've ever met. And Kim is cool. So, like, that's all we know. Well, you've given me some hope, I guess. All right, tell us where the girl went. You found some common ground with this man. Even impressed him. The next time you look in the mirror, though, remember those words. Ooh, can we pass the mirror check to figure out what the fuck is going on with us? That would be pretty spicy. <laughs> you want to give us money? Huh? Oh, no, I ain't got any money. They don't want to pay for unfinished work. The bosses, man. Yeah, the fucking bosses. Sounds like a yeah, good sure arrangement good for, for them. Or you. I'd spare a coin or two for a city cop down in his luck. If I had saved four myself. <laughs> I have, in fact, more than four coins. So, life is fine. Yeah, he's being a bud. He's being a buddy. Yeah, I want to know what happens with Inland Empire and a mirror. That sounds horrifying. <laughs> the mirror is going to talk right back to us. Why does art inspire you so much? It does, yes. But what is art? Excellent question. Art is a diverse range of visual, literary, auditory, and performative creativity. It's an expression of imagination and technical skill. Additionally, it's history, criticism, and pure enjoyment. In short, art is the highest form of human communication representation, narrative, emotion, and agency intertwined. Would I fit into the art world? Buddy, you are art. 
Harry Dubois, you yourself are absolutely a fucking piece of art. <laughs> this might be busted for the wall check. I hope so. I hope we can actually get through the wall check. Have you looked in the mirror lately? You have the no. exact features of a savage art critic with that beard and those clothes. <laughs> Disheveled and prophetic. Perhaps you should try to critique architecture too. Your yeah, baby! I think we should look at some architecture. Yes, you seek substance. No vapid representations and reproductions of social mores as made manifest in stuffy biennials. We're talking real living art here. Become the art cop. Half art critic, half cop. Oh yeah, we gotta become the art cop. I absolutely want to be 50% art, 50% cop. 100%. Fucking Harry Dubois. Exactly. Absolute beast it's of a not motherfucker. Only your duty to only catch the criminals of the street. You must also apprehend the criminals of the <laughs> printing press and the gallery. The trite and derivative artists and writers of the world. Go ahead and provide savage criticisms, art cop. The world is yours to rip to pieces and reassemble. Oh my god, we had to take that. Alright, I'm gonna have to unlock a new thing. We have the point to do that. Oh, bankruptcy. We're almost through bankruptcy. All right, we're going to get minus one perception. Can't even look at this shit until we get it. But research time, an hour and a half. <laughs> Ciao, Michelangelo. All right, you got to go climb, Hana. Have a good climb. Hope it goes well. Picasso walking around. I'm a little sad that we're like an art critic cop and not and not the actual work of art ourselves. I feel like we deserve to be the work of art ourselves. But I guess An I guess art cop is fine. Stands in the middle of the traffic island, pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it's being reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. Hello, Epic Dirt Gaming. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? How are you doing? Whoops, that's not what I want to click. An old monument. Something with great kinetic energy seems to have impacted the cuirass around where the heart is. A bullet? A bullet? Someone shot him in the heart. <laughs> Interesting. Who? Why are there so many people with guns here? There are so many people with guns and we don't even have a gun. We're the cop. We should have a gun and everyone else has guns and we don't. You're doing good. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm doing fine. Life is fine. It's been a it's been a brain heavy work day. So we're just chilling now. Just having a good time chilling. <laughs> Someone has shot the king. Okay. I can't see it, but I take your word for it. Well, Martinez is riddled with bullet holes. This place saw a lot of action during the revolution. But the statue is recently renovated, so maybe a joke? Target practice or a political statement? Yeah, wait, is there a police station that we can go to? I don't think they're going to have our gun. I think our gun is fully lost. Your gun is community gun. They're shooting everything with my gun. That's my gun. There's only two bullets in the gun. They can shoot exactly two things with that gun. And they're gonna have to find more bullets. I guess they better choose well which two things in this town they want to shoot. And they decided to shoot fucking the king. The statue of the king. I mean, presumably, it's political. Why not? What this shows us is guns aren't too uncommon here, and people still shoot them, sometimes at kings. I don't like that. Did we get our ID card? No, I have no idea where it is. The king stands high above you, surveying the bay, mute and indifferent to your sightings. It's said that that might take a while, and we're still only on day two. So I think, I think it'll come later. You shoot Kuno. 
Kuno is terrible. Unfortunately, Kuno also has like more information about the murder than absolutely anybody else. So I think we have to keep Kuno alive for now. All right, can we buy more drugs for morale a small healing? On the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. Yeah, baby, magnesium. Okay, here. I hope Saint Batiste makes you feel okay. All right, yeah. hell yeah. I hope Saint Batiste makes you feel better. Drugs, <laughs> drugs. Except it's just magnesium. It's the good and chill drugs. The drugs that don't actually get us high. All right, this guy is one of the three people, the three guys who came to the mercenaries. That's the word. Mercenary is the word. All right, will he tell us where the woman went? Looking for something odd? Come to tell me to fuck off again? No. Do I go back to the Hardy Boys? The Pinkertons, yeah. That's the word. How do I get the Hardy Boys to tell me what's up with the girl? Like, I think... I think the actual task went away. It makes it sound like I did whatever it's I needed to do. Deal. What is it? But I wanna. I wanna know what's going on. Yeah, my friends. You mean his squad mates from Cronell? Everyone seems to know he's from Cronell, and no one bothered to tell us. Wouldn't want to beat up his grandma. Nervous snickering. There's a rush of adrenaline present. Yeah, they're gonna fucking kill you, bro. This is what happens if you take the law into your own hands. Other people start doing it too. Let them come. The hardy boys are right fucking here. You heard the man. Right here. We're armed. We got the whole district behind us. And Glenn. <laughs> Glenn. Is fucking crazy. Their secret weapon, Glenn. Yeah. I will oil it more than my chin. Oh, hydrate. Thank you, thank you, Pranjal. Mm. Hydrate is very important. <coughs> yeah, armed with my gun. Do you have my gun? Give it back, please. I need it. <clears throat> A single series hornet can kill 40 bees. The fuck is that supposed to mean? You're the fucking bees, bro. We're not bees. We're men. We're socialists. That has nothing to do with this. Easy, E. He's trying to phase you. What are you trying to do? Scare my men? You should be scared. <laughs> So are the local gangs, the fucking Barmy army, and the Madre scum. You've been out there, seen any around? Okay, but these people have literal armor that's meant for weapons. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Where are they now, huh? Send back to Madre in an airtight cargo crate. These people are trained military professionals with decades of combat experience. They are not a gang or a Barmy army. No, they're not. They're uncoordinated and drunk. We know more about them than you think. I mean, you did kill one of them, so we do know how much you know about them, in fact. We got weapons of our own. We got Ister 50s, Zilagars. Glenn's got a knock cannon <laughs> at home. <laughs> I mean, Glenn does sound kind of fucked up. I guess we're gonna see, aren't we? That was an unsure phrasing. Yeah, like you've been up against ceramic armor. We poked at it. You haven't even seen the whole suit, right? I've seen the whole fucking thing, and it didn't make him immortal. Big fucking surprise. They hire psycho scum, arm them to the teeth, and let them loose in the city. What do you think is gonna happen? We still don't know how the guy died. What do you mean? Okay. 
What do you mean? Okay, is all I mean. <laughs> An unsupervised yep weapon. Yeah, we've broken into multiple people's places. We could break into his place too and get his cannon out. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna kill you guys. No, they won't. Get out of here with your negative energy. Ugh. I mean, negative energy is all I got, bro. But honestly, I think you should have some too at this point. All he means is that the situation is serious. No wonder you cops get shot to shit every day. Can't go to war with an attitude like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, 17% is better than 3%. Establish no. authority. Yes. <laughs> authority. Feverish thoughts race through your mind. <laughs> That's... Did you already try the gun thing? Yes. I the gun thing is excellent. No, it didn't work. Results. We already tried the gun thing. You're probably right. The others are only there for filler. To make the gun thing pop. We, are, we already tried the gun thing and it didn't work. I don't want to do the gun thing again. Stop shitting your pants. You don't need to know, all right? We took care of it. The law handled it, all right? Yeah. Aren't you listening? It's done. Finito. I am the law. For God's sake, stop shouting. Stop breaking things in my establishment. Stop provoking those oaths. <laughs> Sounds like someone's damn broke. They're not going to give you anything. Can't you see? I can't have a police interrogation in here. People are trying to eat. Uh, shut up. What is sure. your... Easy, babes. What is this? I can't have a slap fight in my bar. It's embarrassing. Uh, we are deep, deep in fast territory. <laughs> we need to cool off and re-engage later. Yes, we do. Everyone can see you picked some wrong options. Next time you have to come up with better things to say. Well, fuck off, authority. We're trying. I just didn't want to do the gun thing again. What are our tasks? Okay, everything is on the map. Backyard wall, yeah. Why are these white? And these... We gotta find a map. Save the game? Thank you, thank you, Last Legends. We gotta find a map. Where in the world was the map? I guess I thought we were, like, on the right track, but now I don't actually know what to do. Because you gotta go sleepy time. Good night, Pranjal. I hope you have a good night. I hope you have a good rest. Good night. Because I was like, oh, we're gonna try to find the girl. But the thing is, I thought we were gonna be able to talk to Joyce about that after we talked to the Hardy Boys. And it turns out that we can't. So I'm not even really sure what to do now. I think that having the map will actually help a lot in terms of like figuring out what's going on <laughs> thank you have a good night Benjal. i hope it works so i am actually just gonna i think look up where the fuck the map is we've gotten the map once before and so i don't feel too bad just like googling where in the world is the map so that we can like figure out oh, we can just have it again And the starting hotel, okay. Do we, okay, so it, apparently it's actually the 90 cent map. I thought it was, I thought it was like the more expensive map, but apparently it's like the 90 cent map in the bookstore. I like didn't buy it because I thought that that was the more expensive map was the one that we needed. And I also thought that I got it some other way before, but maybe I just am fully imagining it. Or maybe we went and bought it before and I completely forgot. Several or maybe maps there's two ways. Attached. The maps look old and faded. All right. You're always good to be informed of your surroundings. All right, do we have interact? The worn map features the patchwork grid of the streets of Martinez with directions to appropriately 
touristy locations. Year 48 resides on the upper right corner. Your finger moves through the various streets, across Rue de saint Ghislain and Rue saint sipar over Saint-Brun and Martinez North. Finally, coming to a halt on the spot where you are currently standing. Although the map gives no such indication. For a more detailed view of the map, Hell go yeah. to your journal <laughs> and select the map tab. <laughs> I just thought it was the wrong map. Oh my gosh, okay. So now, oh, okay. See, I definitely have not seen this before. So I think I completely imagined the fact that I got the map before. <laughs> okay, so it says those on white are available to try now. So the backyard wall, it says we can try again. Is that the wall that we've been trying this whole time? We can try it again? Please? I want the wall. The wall is my friend. Yeah, I did work to get the map. <laughs> and it's probably going to be helpful to get the map. I probably dreamed that I'd seen the map before. Just an ordinary wall. Nothing to see here. Hi, Yuma. Hello, hello, hello. Nice to see you stop by. The mystery is going okay. We have a map now. So that's, that's a good start. Wait for the new skill. Okay, but we can try it both times, presumably. Like, presumably we can try it now, and then we can try it again with the new skill. I think. So, plus it's 83. It's 83%. It should be fine. Please. Because yeah, baby. See it, finally. The math of all. This is sublime. <laughs> Look at it. The shadows. The colors. I mean, it is beautiful. It is. Like, the art in this game is lovely, and this wall really is beautiful. All the other walls on all the other houses <laughs> must make a pilgrimage in adoration of this. The uncontested pinnacle of Warcraft. Color peeled <laughs> from the very face of God. Yeah, I'll try to upload the VOD this time, but good night. Yeah, we got the wall. I've been trying to get this wall for, like, forever. I keep upgrading conceptualization to try to figure out what's going on with the wall. Is it just pretty? Is that it? Oh, wall father. <laughs> wall, wall father. We have to paint it. Yeah, let's do it. Huh? He sounds tired of it all. Yeah, he's really tired of the wall. <laughs> Cindy the Skull has all the necessary materials. Talk to her. Kim, please. Mm -hmm. Sure. If you must. <laughs> we should do it. I don't know what we're going to get from this, but it's a, it's going to be the most beautiful wall anyone has ever seen. Come on, Cindy. I must become the best artist. How do I get out? You know what? Walls are friends. Doors, not friends. Walls are friends. We like walls here. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? I need paint, Cindy. What for? Renovation. But boring. You're not using my lovely brush to spread boredom. The apocalypse is coming. What do you think I'm trying to paint here? <laughs> a mural for a better tomorrow. Why do you really need I it? I just want to do art, pretty please, art. Well, if it's for art, but what kind of art are we talking about? Grand art, art deluxe, the artiest art ever to art. Let me stop you right there, Piggy. You have no idea, do you? No idea. No brush? Fuck off. Not a problem. I'll make art. You're about to cry internally. Aren't you, Piggy? No, no please. Pathetic. Just give up. 42%, but you. my conceptualization is so high. Please. You don't <gasps> yeah. Have the skills to execute something like this in practice. But, oh boy, the idea is going to blow her fucking mind. A highly detailed skeleton of an ancient bird. Fuck yeah. She squints her eyes. Painted red. On fire. A phoenix. I say, sod <laughs> off. 
You don't have the technical skills to do that. But it was cool. I like your idea. Should have thought of it myself. I don't need this kind of competition in my Cindy, we can be friends. We can be art friends, Cindy. It was too strong. Then get your brush from fucking art. Oops, my apologies. I guess I was trying to. No, hard. conceptualization, you did a beautiful and perfect job. You're a police officer and a grown up. Why are you trying to impress her? Maybe try a different <laughs> Fuck approach. Fuck you, I'm taking the Ooh, brush. Police brutality. That's the good stuff. Yeah, it is. How come you're letting this baby rat run circles around you? End this now. <laughs> Cindy, please. Cindy, I'm a sad little man and art is the only thing that will make it better. Have you got any kids? Because you sound like the world's saddest dad right now. I don't even know if I have kids or not, Cindy, please. But fine, take the brush. I'm all out of fuel oil anyway. You know what you should be able to find in your government issued vehicle? Red dyed heavy fuel oil. Okay, where is my vehicle though? That beautiful <laughs> wall deserves nothing less. Where is my beautiful vehicle though? <laughs> um, please please can. Kinema. Use your own fuel if you are unable to contain your artistic impulses, but please. <laughs> Leave my cinema out of it. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that our own car is, like, across the the, the water thing. Because I'm pretty sure we fucking, like, drove it across the water and broke the thing. So we'll find our car, like, the next day. Like, day three, we can go across the water thing and we can find our cars. <laughs> so we'll be able to do it then. Ah, uh, success. We'll be able to do art one of these days. I don't, I don't know how we got back if we broke it when we were going across. Like, maybe we just swam. That would be in character. Oh, we have a paintbrush now. Put it, can I not put it in my hand? Oh, I can't because it's an item and not a tool. Huh. We get plus one inland empathy if we're <laughs> inland empire if we're holding the ledger. I want that. I want more inland empire. I don't think we're ever going to be able to get through the fucking authority check. <laughs> Our authority is so bad. Alright, what things do we have now? We can try... The mirror. But I think we can try that later in the day. Okay, but what else is there to do today? Oh yeah, swimming would explain why the tie was on the fan! Oh my gosh, you're right! Because it has to dry out! That's so true! Does Kuno have more information for us? Gonna save before talking to Kuno. <laughs> Kuno, please. Fuck does Kuno care? Uh, no, we're not gonna ask him for speed. Absolutely not. The fuck do you want with it? Um, tube of magnesium. It's a vitamin pig. Don't you know anything? No. You could use some magnesium. Yeah, it's the mag. You fucking need that shit to stay on top of your Absolutely. game. Absolutely. Kuno goes through like a tube a day, <laughs> rips mag like a motherfucker, and you could use a bottle. Kuno and I have, abs have exactly one thing in common right now, and it's that we both have just the absolute worst morale. <laughs> We're both hanging on by a single thread. Oh, don't teach him, Kuno! He's gonna use it against you, Kuno! Yeah, baby, I know the magnesium. <laughs> You're not getting this pig. It completely takes away the hangover. It's like you didn't do anything. Like you stayed home playing with your choo-choo. Yeah, I know. Fuck you, 
pig. Don't do mag. You're gonna OD and you're gonna fucking die. I can OD on magnesium, please. No, I need that to stay alive. <laughs> please, I desperately need it. Uh, all right, have a good night, Epic Deer Gaming. I'm glad you stopped by. Have a good sleep. Or I don't even know if you're going to sleep, but have a good time. Goodbye. And thanks for coming and hanging out. I'll try to, like, stop by more often. But thanks. Oh, that. Kuno decapitates pigs. That's just a Kuno demo tape. Kuno, why? Kuno, please. <laughs> yeah, no. Too brutal for you, huh? <laughs> Kuno, fuck your tongue off. Kuno, I'm going insane. What? Eh, uh, why are you fucking on yourself in front of Kuno? Talk kingdom to Kuno, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> oh, Kuno causes us so much pain. That's where Kuno gets his daily hit of electric. Kuno Shazam. Kuno rides the fucking lightning in there, pig. Kuno is doing a drug. I don't even know which one it is. Bet you'd like to ride the lightning no. too, wouldn't you? You feel tired and old, but you could have that sparkle in your eyes. No! Good call, Pigmeister. Don't come and talk to Kuno about his kingdom. <laughs> Our empathy is so low. We really are so terrible. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Yeah, that's fair. Kuno is doing every drug. Kuno is doing literally every drug. Hear that? Magnesium. That's what you're lacking. The lack of magnesium has you slouched. It really does. Yes. And it's critical. Look at yourself. <laughs> You're practically devolving into a fish due to the lack of magnesium in your bloodstream. Every, every moment of every day, bro. You need to get so magged up. You've probably had two heart attacks and a <laughs> minor stroke already. And the only prescription is insane amounts of magnesium. It's true. Yes. If you want to live, <laughs> you need to evolve. You need to transcend the carbon barrier. <laughs> Go to the apothecary and buy insane amounts of magnesium. It will reverse <laughs> the damage to your circulatory system. I mean, we're going to need to do that regardless. Bankruptcy sequence. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're going bankrupt. It's easy. You just need to move on. Like a plague of locusts. Like a fucking plague. Failure is a core tenet of liberalism. When life closes a door, it opens a window. And if the fall is too steep, use the fire exit. Run to the roof. You always have that airship on the dock. The most important thing is to keep moving. Keep dreaming. The auditors cannot get to you if you keep running very, very fast. <laughs> from one fuck up <laughs> to the next. I mean, this is our life. Like, this is Henry Dubois, Harry. This is Harry Dubois' absolute life. So, like, yeah. Yeah, that's about right. White check failures give plus one rail. Oh my god, that's so good. Wait. That's so good? We, f we fail white checks constantly all the time. <laughs> that's incredible. Or there's more white checks that we could fail oh, right now. I think the only ones oh I think the only ones that we Kuno can doesn't... retry are the the mirror. But by god, do we fail white checks constantly? <laughs> True infinite money hack. I mean we do have to like be able to retry the white check. <laughs> but we do get to farm money from being a complete idiot. So that's a, that's a good start. Alright, I think we're mostly waiting for the day to pass. I'm not super sure what we can do. Like, call Alice back in a day. We called Alice today for information on the armor. And so, we, we can't do that again today. This is on Wednesday. I mean, we can we can pay the rent. You need to pay Rial, or we'll be locked after twenty one hundred. So maybe maybe I go and pay Gart right now. <laughs> yeah, we finally got the wall right after we're no longer getting money for that. Oh well. 
All right. Can I help you? Got the 20 real? Hell yeah. Good. You got the room for the night, but remember, you'll need another 20 real <laughs> tomorrow. How could anyone forget, <laughs> asshole? <laughs> Tell the lady about the ghost? Yeah, we could do that. Other than that, sing karaoke, but I don't know where the tape is. We've been asking Joyce about as much as there is to ask. I don't know how to find a way to get into the secret passageway. These things might take time. It says ask another person about the tattoo's possible meaning. But I don't even know who we're able to ask. Oh, actually? So, okay. Maybe this is really sketch. But the thing is, the guy who's leading the strike workers, the strike breakers is one of the Pinkertons. So we could ask him about his buddy's death? Like, I think it's kind of sketch to ask him about his buddy's death because it, like, tells him that, like, we're... we're, we're looking into it. But we could try it. Right to work. Right to work. Yeah, tattoos. On you. Don't think so. We're on the body of the man who died. Silence. He takes the photo. Ready, please. Gray eyes dart back and forth on the glossy surface. His face is unmoving. You know, we are showing him a body of his dead friend. Hard as a stone, but beneath it. That's kind of fucked up. Fucking loin cloths. Really did him in. Yeah, I just want to know about that tattoo, what bro. What it means. <laughs> in what must have been Seminine. Hmm. I can tell you what this one means. Only one. You want to hear what happened here? Yeah. Our colonel is deep in the bush here. Deep in the fucking bush. In Benital. 41. <laughs> Monsoon season. He's on a reconnaissance mission. Benital is one of the inhabited islands of the Seminese archipelago near the Pale. Covered in jungle. It was anchor point for the Seminese nationalists in the proxy war held on the islanders' territory. He spent a month behind enemy lines, scouting kept villages. Nothing but fucking bugs and snakes for fun. Men are getting restless. There's talk of switching employers with some strange emotion. This is about to get really graphic. Last moment to back off. We can just, we can just scooch past the graphic parts. I feel like hearing it's important. Our boy, he's only a captain then, but he knows how these men think. If they don't see action soon. At dawn, he comes upon two kids. We just shot gonna... the boy. He was useless. Yeah, this isn't helping. What's the matter, militia man? No stomach for it. This man yeah, is worth a that's thousand a... cloths. I think we should maybe even get going now. Yeah. He clearly does not think poking the hornet's nest is a wise plan anymore. All right. Thanks for... We tried. <laughs> we tried. That did not help. All right. Who else would know anything about the tattoos? Measurehead? Hi, Measurehead. I have a weird question. Your race descent has only worsened. Ooh, the mug. I don't want to talk to him about the mug. Ooh, I do not want to talk to him about the mug. Go. Racists are generally not very good example. I am not like okay, that. Okay, I... The drawings are precise and look true to their pseduscientific... I don't even... Your it's just to be a racist. Your inferiority. Oh, no, I don't want you advanced do race theory, though. Unfortunately, we have you a 97% chance. Slumber. Perhaps if it were if only we were more likely to fail that check. Wait. Bro, I want to I want to see what's in the box. Your race descent has only worse. I just I want to see what's in the box. <laughs> Do I have to push measure head aside? I can't just be like, "Bro, let's be cool. Let me see what's in the box." <laughs> I want to open the box. I even got I even got a thing. There's a thing. Which one was it? 
Didn't I get one? That was like, you really like opening boxes. <laughs> opening boxes is your thing. <laughs> Alright, what is magnesium based life form? Punch him? Oh my gosh, we're gonna fail. I don't even think we can punch him anymore. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is just telling us to take a lot of magnesium. We would not have any shakes while we're doing it. I mean, Shivers hasn't been talking to us anyway, so that, like, doesn't really matter. Maybe we can try talking to Everard again. We have the magnesium that will probably be okay. <laughs> we really are absolutely living on the magnesium. <laughs> All right, Everard, buddy. Everard, my terrible, terrible human being that I know. You're not a friend. We're not friends. You are just a man who has killed me several times. That is our only relationship. Please tell me something. <laughs> Please tell me something more. I mean, he sent us talk to Leo. I can talk to Leo. I don't know that Leo knows anything. I think we've asked Leo basically everything. But I'll talk to him. Mr. Dubois, every worker. A member of the board. That's right, Mr. Dubois. I see the socialist democratic fervor now burns in your heart too. How can I help you today? Yeah. Oh, does he know about the dude in the container? Mega rich light bending guy. Oh my God! How did that get in there? <laughs> He's, uh, he's just so rich. Damn it to hell, Harry. I specifically told my guys <laughs> to check all the containers for mega rich light bending guys. You know, at least ever it's funny. At least he's got that going for him. <laughs> Kim telling me was there. Kimmy there was there. There was a guy in the container. But he didn't bend any light. That was in the detective's No, house. he did, Kim. You're just rich. Kim, you're too rich to understand. This is a poor person problem. Honestly, guys, we might be moving all kinds of suspicious things through this harbor, but I won't be caught transporting the light bending mega rich. I have a reputation to protect. Yeah, you're a fucking socialist. You're right, Harry. I am a socialist. I'm going to catch the mega rich guy inside the container and harvest his <laughs> energy to power the harbor's fog lights. <laughs> <laughs> I shudder to think what you're going to tell me next, Harry. What? I Not don't even know either. Not for a second did he believe there's an actual mega-rich person somewhere in his container town. Um, what did we turn off? <laughs> uh, few details concerning the murder? Most he won't tell us Harry. anything. By all means, Harry. What's on I don't know that I want to talk to him about the drug trade. I just want to talk to Joyce about that. How do I talk to Joyce about it? Yeah, you know, Lost Legends, you're right. Everard lives in a container. He should be he should be more open to container living people. Oh hey, mister. I nearly be back to talk to the right. No trouble at all, mister. No trouble at all. It's like that Oh, I'm just making some covers for them containers here. Yes I am, yes I am. So it's easier for the crane operators to spot them. Logic? The containers oh. in the yard are green Ooh. in Wild Pine's livery, and the mountains rising behind Leo is all red in Union colors. Uh. It's like some red infection was spreading outwards from the container yard's core. It's redecorating. Yes, they are hiding it from the inside. All the red containers have the Debarder's Union logo on them. No, not really. <laughs> Miss Everett doesn't tell me all the big things. Says I go and tell them to everyone. I mean, it doesn't really change anything. They're just trying to, like, change the branding, I guess. Oh, no trouble at all, mister. No trouble at all. It's a little guy, confirms Merrily. He's just a little guy. Leo. He's a Leo. It's just, he just a little guy. Oh, yes. Born and raised in Arayish, mister. Mum had to leave my dad after he got a bit violent. Took us here to the new, new world. I was about ten then. Too old to lose my accent then. People say us Ubis are up to all sorts of trouble with sheep and other animals and whatnot. <laughs> See, I Welsh. just want you to know there was never any of that where I come from. 
No, sir. Those are just nasty rumors. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that, sir. <laughs> He's like, I'm not that kind of Welsh. I'm not the sheep fucking kind of Welsh. I'm the regular non sheep fucking kind of Welsh. And Elena's name stands for a little. He just. little. guy. The EO stands for guy. <laughs> LEO just stands for little guy. That's what he is. Uh, yeah, I actually don't know what to do until tomorrow. I thought we were on the right track, but. Do not add more beauty to the wall. We need to get our car, which I think is across the thing. But I can't get Kim to leave. Ask a girl in the fishing village. That's across the thing. This we can't do anything about until we're across the thing. I could try. I mean, I think I don't even know that I can retry the authority check at this point. I think I have to get other stuff to be able to retry the authority check. Can maybe go look back at the car and see if there's more clues there, but I think we looked at everything at the car. So I really think we're mostly just waiting for tomorrow. Which feels pretty good, you know? It feels like pretty good that we actually like have been successful enough that there's like not a whole lot left that we can do today. It's like we're actually making real progress pretty cool a lorry abandoned by its owner S the smell of cigarettes and yeah well, I think we've done everything we can do stuff. here all right tasks yeah we can report back to about the ghost to Plaisance hopefully she'll be chill about it I don't want to like get the dice lady in trouble because like she's fucking cool dice maker is like absolutely coolest profession and so i don't want to like cause trouble for her but it would finish the task which would give us more skill points right yeah like we don't have a skill point right now so it might be nice to have another one what have you found and also do buy the books. There may be teachings in them. Uh, the dice maker. A novelty dice maker? Well, spit it out. Why does she need the dice? For some kind of sorcery? Sometimes they use the ankle bones of sheep. Uh, she is not the one to blame for this curse. I don't understand. If it's not her, then where is the source of the doom? <laughs> How did she explain the curse? The narrative she's built herself. It does need tearing down. Damn. She's squeezing on the pendant too tight. Oof. A drop of blood in her palm. To hell with it. Perchance you ought to just lie, sire. <sighs> there is another entity even more malignant. You know, lying... We're not too bad at lying. But you know what? I just want to be honest with her. I want her to be okay. Oh, too many inconsistencies. What kind of talk is that? Good luck persuading her. <laughs> Some people can rationalize anything. She's just a, just a happy yes, girl. Because her business consists of the psychic leech that's been feeding the curse. I see that you've fallen for her manipulation, detective. <sighs> the investigation is over. I just hope that you haven't made anything worse by going in no. there. Thank you for nothing. Please, do buy some books or be on your way. No. Wow. Total psychic collapse between you two. Right oh, now. fuck you, Inland Empire. There was never any other way this could have gone. She's just too far gone into her own It mind. was worth a try. I am sorry we had to disappoint you, ma'am. Can we go now? <laughs> Kim doesn't want to be here. Alright, well we did get the other skill point, so if we run into a white check we fail later that we need to retry, we can do that. So that's a good start. I don't want to try to find any speed. The cryptologist is across. Cryptozoologist. That's who he is. 
Is it cross the way? These two have to wait. Traffic hooligan, I think, has to wait. Track down our badge is like... Yeah, who knows? It's somewhere. That might take a while. Victim's tattoos. I s don't know who else we can ask. We can, like, just run around and try talking to people who know things. There's something in the hidden freezers we couldn't get. Oh, there! wait, there are more white checks. I thought they would all be at the top. But they're not. They're down here. Wow, there's so many of them. Wow, oh, there's so many of them. Okay. Yeah, ice cream maker. And the barbell. And the warped door. We can all try. And the map wall. Yeah, we can try a bunch of things that are back there. Ooh, that's exciting. The things at the top were all white, and so I had assumed that all the, like, retriable checks were, like, all at the top. But no, I guess not. Yeah! This orange machine is Oh dead my still. god, pry bar not a strong enough. Ice cream churner and an electric oh my god, freezer. oopsie. The ice around. Is there anything we can do? Both cables are unplugged. No, the they're on both unplugged. Yeah. If the pry bar wasn't enough. We can try to find a better pry bar, but yeah, right now I don't think we have anything. But we can give it a try. I like, guess it's not gonna work. This orange machine is dead still. If the ice squeaks beneath the pry bar, we get a dollar. Think got the bar jammed in there pretty well. But the lid simply won't budge. Hmm. You see the pry bar's metal handle bending Oof. right no, 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 no. your very eyes. Yeah, well, that's a good pry bar. I'm not criticizing it. But this ice cream maker is frozen shut. It takes an advanced tool to get it open. I have no idea, officer. This ice cream maker isn't important <laughs> enough to requisition a special tool. Yeah, I need to look at everything. Sooner or later, you will stumble upon a tool mighty enough. <laughs> Then we will know what's in this mysterious ice cream maker. All right. But we got a dollar, right? We should have gotten a dollar for that. All right, what were the other things we could try over here? Barbell. Warped door was pain threshold. Warded door. Warded door was pain threshold. Huh. The beer's eyes are... Where is a warded door? A thick layer of coal. What was the other thing? I've already forgotten. I just looked at it. Barbell. Barbell. I mean, barbell was like pretty close to the entrance. And warded door is like between map. Oh, right. I need the flashlight. All right. I don't think we know the password here yet. There is a warded door. Oh. Ah, 24 hour repair shop. I don't think the warded door is anywhere around here. The music is really creepy here. Isn't that the door of the entrance? Yeah, I think so. I think it's just the door of the entrance. I figured I would, like, look around just in case. But yeah, I think it's just... Just the actual entrance. And we have the key, yeah. So it, like, doesn't... It doesn't matter. I just figured I'd go in and see what's up with the various checks in here. Here's the barbell. The barbell waits patiently on the floor, <laughs> like a dog for its master. Physical instrument was so good. You know what? What? We did it? Kim, look at me. Kim, watch me. I'm so strong. Kim, look, I'm fucking badass. Conjuring up and Oh my god, nearly strength, a crit. <laughs> you raise the barbell up in the air. Your biceps tremble, but you're a savage. 
This is a children's game. Kim, are you proud? Please tell me you're proud of me, Kim. We would have healed morale if we had any to heal. A warm wave of accomplishment <laughs> washes over your head as you drop the barbell to the floor. For a moment, it feels like you're strong enough to succeed at anything you ever set your mind Look, to. Look, we barely succeeded at that, so I'll take it. Good technique. Yay, Kim! Kim did approve! He nods with approval at us! Kim! Kim, thank you. Did this update? I think it just updated to done. I think that's all it did. Alright, I think we can try to, like, steal something. And we are so strong. I don't- I feel like trying to break the door might actually hurt our morale if we do that and fail. <laughs> yeah, that was a really hard check. We had to, like- we had, like, a really low Several chance of passing that. Been attached to a bulletin board hidden in the maps look old and faded. This large map, Ozon, disintegrating. Right. In the northeast, a dust mite stands on the north coast of Caillou in a bookstore. It's you. Ooh, creepy. You can on Caillou, Revachon, a single black star on Ozon, Fondelaire, and Vimandu on Archipelagos, Croyan Moran. Villiers, on Seminine, Oldivai, and on Laurentide, Deora of the Seven Seas. 850 million people live on these little dots. So An oceanic world of culture and commerce torn apart by history. The ocean breaks apart into a tangle of cosines and azimuths, all pointing into pale nothingness. Windy is the north azimuth. Grad is the northeast azimuth. Samara is the east azimuth. Seo is the west azimuth. Isolas, they're called. Is there no south one? Connections to other worlds. Words past the Incelindian. Unknown to you. You only know you've never been there. That's a lot. You have us. little idea what they are. Distant stars. Gods. But looking at them makes you feel almost non-existent. Whatever they are. The Isolas are immeasurably large compared to you, and very, very far away. Perhaps they are gods, gods of distance and outer dust. I'm sorry, officer. The map of the... They're quite valuable, though they might not look it. The map... Yes, Tonight. yes. Are you interested? The north coast to the east. It said that there Kuda. was something so I could small. do here at the map wall. Several maps. The maps look old and fake. Wasn't it, like, stealing a map? But it was stealing the map that, like, we currently have. Like, we bought the map that we would otherwise need to steal. So I don't think that's even there anymore. We have a lot of mirror checks. Are they multiple mirrors? I don't think so. I think they're the same mirror. Punch Measurehead? Become a racist. We can retry... A check with Joyce. So maybe we do that. Maybe we go back to Joyce. I retry that check. Otherwise, I mean, it's like, <laughs> become a racist. <laughs> I don't wanna. We have a 97% chance of becoming a racist if we, like, take the, the check. And I don't want to become a racist. <laughs> uh. This woman's woman fine. We don't need to creep her out. Everything we had to say to her was terrible, and we don't need to do that. The right. dented yellow mailbox Hi, Dre. greets Thank you, you with Thank its you. graffito, bullet holes, and an RCM sticker. Mm. Also, posture check. Thank you. Thank you. I've been mining recently. That if I, like, lean over and then, like come back up I can get my posture like pretty good and it's been very helpful for everything yeah that's what we're doing here we're petting the mailbox again that's why I came back to the mailbox <laughs> was for petting it again the box seems happy but yeah there's a fair amount of stuff to do even if we're not progressing in the story but I I feel like everything we need to do to progress is like 
Like, we're caught up, basically, is what it seems. Like, it seems like we actually managed to just get done the things that we're capable of getting done today, which is, like, pretty cool. Like, I certainly didn't think that that was going to be the case. I definitely thought that we were, like, struggling at everything and, like, not making our way through things well. But this makes it seem like we actually were, like, doing fine. 7 p.m. Do we have to talk to the witness today? We have to talk to them after 9 p.m. Yes, yeah, sometime after 2100. So we have to, like, wait a couple of hours to be able to talk to them. But, yeah, so... We're just, like, killing time until it's nighttime and we can... I guess I could go back and do the mirror checks. <laughs> I think we could do the mirror checks like at night or in the morning as well. But I can't imagine that they I, they might let us not go back to our room right now. Like that's possible. But we can try. Talk to the drug guy again. Wait, which drug guy? There are so many drug guys. The merchant. Yeah, we could try to get more st Oh yeah. Maybe he knows something. There's plenty of people to talk to. Alright. Oh yeah, I can go back in. Kim tries not to look at your broken down bathroom. No. Kim also tries <laughs> not to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet. Or the weird suitcase on the hat rack. Or the potted plant dying in the corner. But it's all just too morbid. To ignore. I mean, Kim knows what we're about. Kim knows what kind of man we are. The man is finding it hard not to trip on the tape <laughs> and not to send any of the bottles rolling across the floor. It's fine, Kim. Where unidentifiable sludge makes it hard for him to breathe. Smells of vomit in here. I'm so sorry, Kim. I'm so sorry that you have to see this, Kim. The shoe-shaped hole in the window. Kim, don't look at the window. It's fine. Kim. No problem, officer. Oh, he wants to leave. Well, Kim, I gotta look at the mirror. There's so much to look at. The mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face, adorned with the expression. Interfacing tool not in hand. Use the chain cutters to fix the faucet. Let's try to do that. Chain cutters in hand. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. Yeah, 42%. Not too bad. The, door, the faucet is nice. quite terribly mangled. But you just might be able to twist its parts into place. Yeah, chain cutters to fix a faucet? I don't understand. I don't get it. You handle the chain cutters deftly, applying just enough pressure. The faucet regains a recognizable shape. The steam stops. Oh, yeah. Told you that you needed those chain cutters. Everything is connected. <laughs> Everything has a purpose. Interface is like, fuck you, I was justified in taking the duel. I do we would ever use for the duel. <laughs> but yeah, we do actually honestly look quite a bit healthier than we did before. <laughs> the mirror begins to clear slowly without you having to wipe it. Okay, so that did help the electrochemistry. All right, let's do the, in the encyclopedia, though. It belongs in the new. The third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life what for does our species. What does this have to do with the expression? Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne-tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. Hell yeah, disco, baby. Forget about ostentatious orchestrations. For Revachol, your city, that meant only one thing. Guillaume Le Million. Guillaume Le Million. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. <laughs> Guillaume Le Million. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music, in an open air, what de nuit? Somewhere in Revachol West, 
Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He I... sang some bullshit. Then he made the expression. I am certainly learning a lot about French pronunciation with this. Like, what de nuit is like, is like, I, that was definitely not correct. <laughs> but that's not what I would have guessed it was either. I'd be like, blah, blah, de nuit. Nuit. <laughs> French Lyra versus British Lyra. I think British Lyra is probably winning. French Lyra is struggling. I always struggled with French. Back in high school one time, I was, like, singing a song for the, like, voice things where it's, like, high school singing. You see if you get into the choir thing and you have to sing a song. And I, like, sang a French song that I'd worked on with my voice teacher. And at the end of my song, the, the guy who was, like, judging me just, like, asked, like, who helped you with your French? <laughs> I was like, oh no, apparently my French was really bad. Apparently my French was bad enough that this guy was like, this is fucked up. Somebody needed to help this girl with her French. Somebody needed to teach this girl about French. So I'm so sorry, Yolantio. I am like particularly extra bad at French. I don't even know what song it was. Yeah, okay, why did we adopt this disco guy's expression? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. <laughs> Clicking sound. The click is used to spur on a horse. It also features heavily in Guillaume Lamillion's regional mega hit, Don't Worry, Your Pretty Little Head. Ah, what de nuit means nightclub. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Incredible. Very, it's a very fancy sounding way of saying nightclub. Sometimes you like to add finger pistols to the mix. Because <laughs> unlike Guillaume Le Million, you are a police officer. <laughs> it's your nifty little way to say, I'm armed <laughs> and dangerous. That's exactly what we mean. That's exactly what everyone means when they do finger pistols. I'm harmed and dangerous. There is a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression. Looking good on you. Or anyone. Two decades, if the calendar is to be trusted. <laughs> Humanity has run aground in that time. It's a different world now. The expression is a relic. <laughs> the finger pistols are the only gun we have. Please, this is... I need these finger pistols. They're my emotional support finger pistols to make up for the fact that children are running around with my gun. <laughs> we are a sad little man, but it's okay. I love us anyway. You have some understanding of the near history of disco. Plus, the trivia you've picked up along the way. Episodic memory, however, remains in the dark. It may never return. You should prepare yourself for that. Okay, what's the band? Not really. OO <laughs> must have just stirred your mind. They're more like a disco rock band anyway. All right. It doesn't have to be. Ooh. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe <laughs> some of the stardust will return. <laughs> You're right, we have two massive guns, and there's the left gun and the right gun. Fuck yeah. I don't know that you actually, we did like a clean or something. I don't know that you actually use your arms too much for that. I think that's more of like a back thing. I will say every time I tried to deadlift, my forearms were like the limiting factor. I was always having so much trouble just like holding onto the bar. The bar would just like slip out of my fingers. So... We at least got some big-ass forearms. We got that going for us. All right, can we stop the expression? We have a 58% chance to stop the expression, please. Still not nope. happening. It won't come off that easy. Do we not get a dollar for that? We didn't get a dollar for that. Aren't we supposed to... Aren't we supposed to get a dollar? Yeah, oh, int white checks. It's only int white checks. Well, that's not that great then, because, like, we have high int, and so we're actually pretty likely to, you know, pass our int white checks. If I forget... 
get the thing? Do I have to completely relearn it? Yeah, Sag ripped off, scammed. Too bad. All right, what do we want? I think magnesium-based life form is funny. So I think I'm gonna try to put magnesium-based life form here. <laughs> Actual art degree has 17 minutes. We can come up with things to do for 17 minutes while we wait for the art thing to come back to like fix. Do we have clothes to stop expression from happening? I should have checked that before I did it. <laughs> Cause you can't like changing clothes doesn't like give you the chance to retry. You actually have to like re like change other oh, things. Hello dear. There you are again. Oh well, you could talk about your husband, the cryptozoologist. Oh, yes. A zoologist. A cryptozoologist, to be more precise. It's a pseudoscience that attempts to legitimize research into <laughs> mythological beasts and urban legends. Kim, just let us have fun. We just want to talk about cryptids, Kim. That's uh, one opinion, yes. And people are entitled to their opinions. She's used to playing off such insults casually. But they still affect her. Kim, don't do that. My apologies, ma'am. I did not mean to undermine your hobby. It's her job. It's not a hobby, dear. It's a subfield of zoology. One specializing in animal species that are so exceedingly rare that many assume them to be extinct or even fictitious. Searching for such species called cryptids is difficult and often thankless. And frankly, many scientists are too lazy to do it. Universities these days are rarely interested in supporting real research. You lied to you. You saw the fifth. The Mothman is fifty percent moth and fifty percent. It was his fifty percent moth, fifty percent man, one hundred percent boyfriend material. I think it showed up on my timeline and said that you liked it, and I was like, oh, they saw the Mothman tweet. It was like we were talking about Mothman last time, and they saw the Mothman tweet. So I, I did actually see that you saw it. <laughs> I was touched. <laughs> the quality of research at Revisholian universities Cryptids. has been on the decline, but you doubt there was ever a time when cryptozoology was embraced by the academic elite. Okay, suggestion, suggestion. What do we do for suggestion? We're not wearing a hat. Ooh, minus one suggestion. Let's change our shirt. Do we have a shirt that's plus suggestion? I don't think so. What about the hat? I feel like the hat would actively hurt. Okay, okay, suggestion, suggestion. Anything? I feel like these glasses should help with suggestion. Like, people should look at those and be like, yeah, that's a man who knows what he's talking about. They would be right. We do know what we're talking about. Ah, oh, the navel coat. Come on. Oh, wow. That's a... That's a lot of coat. That is a... That is a whole lot of coat. That's very blue. Alright, oh, tell me about cryptids. Dear. There you are again. There's Hell really yeah. no point in manipulating <laughs> anyone. She'd be only too pleased to tell you about her work. <laughs> Go on and ask. Oh, I'd be delighted. Truth be told, I could really use the company too. Hell yeah, stalling for time talking about cryptids. One cryptid, not a couple. One. Many one cryptids. Some kind of cryptid All of the cryptids, Kim. And I don't. Just one. Cryptids. Ooh, tough choice there. Ooh. Ooh, let's ask about the cryptid on the pen. Yes. It's the kind green ape. <laughs> half war story. Half undiscovered species in the genus Homo. Yes, it was reported by soldiers in South Safra during the war. The kind green ape would visit bunkers during the night, healing wounded soldiers with its saliva. Wow. Yes. <laughs> it has amazing healing qualities. Some soldiers reported growing back limbs, regaining their sight, 
It's an undiscovered subspecies of me. <laughs> the, the, the homo ape? But Kim, it's homo. Kim, can we be homo? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, there is. It's our closest relative among the cryptids. Same taxonomic family, different gayness. <laughs> is he, you know, cryptid? <laughs> is gayness how it's pronounced? I always thought it was genus. Have I been saying it wrong this whole time? <laughs> that would be pretty in character of me. <laughs> Which is to say, the kind green ape is a species with which we share a common ancestor, and that evolved parallel to our own, just like your partners. Kim! Um... Like, yeah, Kim is definitely... human. The lieutenant looks at you, pleasantly surprised. It's genus? She said it wrong? I'm glad she said it wrong. She just, she just wanted to say gay. That's all it was. She just wanted to say gayness. <laughs> That's all she was going for. Oh, no. I didn't mean to imply that Saolites are inferior to us in many ways. You are superior. For example, your earwax doesn't have a foul odor like ours does. Homo gayness? She's, uh, and now she's complimenting Kim about his earwax. A tremendous evolutionary advantage, I'm sure. <laughs> but perhaps we've had enough speculative biology for today. The tiniest cryptid. Hey, you promised you'd only ask about mm, one cryptid. Please, Kim. Fine. He nods okay, we'll come back for other cryptids another time. Okay, how long do we have? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. So close. How do these minutes relate to real time minutes? It's like they've got to be going faster, right? Like how much faster? Does she know about the tattoos? I've got nothing to say to you. Why are you wasting your time? I just want to talk to you. You're pretty. What you want is of no significance, <laughs> officer. Don't test your authority. <laughs> Kim parenting Imagine us. Me, you are no one. Honey, only one cryptid. You can have another cryptid after you finish your dinner, Harry. Harry, you need to eat your vegetables and then you can have another cryptid. <laughs> Come on, we just want to chat. I'm a lawyer. A legal counselor for the Dock Workers Union. I would urge you to consider what you say to my clients. Hmm. What are we going to do to you? I just want to chat. <laughs> the union isn't going to do anything to you. It is not a crime syndicate. It is a labor organization. I just want to have a conversation. Uh -huh. Goddamn right it is. If anything, it is the RCM who do things to people. But we digress. Aggressive, you make your living enforcing violence. These people are just dock no, workers. Elizabeth, I just want to talk to you in a normal just way. Just dock workers. Do dock workers spy on the police? We let you off easy, miss. Don't think it will happen again. We've talked to Everard Claire. We know who these men are. The Union's militant wing. Listen, you moral intern lackeys. You're a mob enforcing the unlawful privatization of Revishol. Twenty fat men in the Occident are stealing it all. And you're their bodyguards. Fuck yeah. And look, I don't know anything about politics. So ask what you came to ask. Or get back to your commanders. Okay, Let's. fine. Alright, that didn't go anywhere. What about that man? Can we talk to that man? It's all about money, you know. That's all he has to say to us. Alright, yeah, we can go back to the, the weird dude who was selling things. <laughs> what about Batman? What about Batman? Come on, Elizabeth. What's your stance on Batman? <laughs> One of the real questions we've got here. Very real, very important question. 
What about Batman? Hello again. How can I help you? Oh, I don't want his drugs. Someone else came here earlier today asking the same question. <laughs> I promptly sold her the gun you pawned a couple days back. I pawned a gun. I pawned my own gun. This is a pawn shop, and it did feel as if you've met before. Oh no. Oh. Do I like superheroes? I haven't like kept up with a whole lot of superheroes. I like started watching the Marvel movies when they came out and then kind of lost track after like the first Avengers movie. And now it's like, oh my God, there's so many to catch up on. And I don't, I don't know that I want to sit down and watch like 10 Marvel movies in a row. So I'm kind of like out of the loop on superheroes. I'm down to like get back into the loop somehow. It just feels like it's all kind of like a lot in order to get back in. But I'll watch like one-off things when they come out. <laughs> My favorite part of Disco Elysium is when Mr. Chan Disco Elysium said it's disco time and started discoing all over the boys. Um, that is the most that I'm aware of superheroes is a <laughs> Morbius movie came out. <laughs> the lieutenant shifts from one foot to another, alert. Who was the buyer? She didn't seem like a policeman, although she kept referring to herself as a pig, which was odd. I found her interest in the gun a bit obsessive, but I was just happy to get rid of it and of her. Is this cool who is? Truth be told, she who was is terrifying. This? Right, so let me get this right. You sold your sidearm issued by the citizens' militia. And now a civilian is running around the streets of Martinez with it? Yeah. You're right that she could cast aspersions on <laughs> We have to find out. Okay, um... Who is My that? My apologies, officer, but I have no idea where she was coming from or where she went. Okay. A needle in a haystack. There is nothing you can do about it right now. You'll just have to hope Everett wasn't lying. And the union can track her down in time. Pretty cringe of us to have sold our gun. Maybe. Shady looking guys came in here yesterday. Looking like they'd just taken off their wild pines overalls. They asked if I have a police weapon to sell. <laughs> I told them I already sold it. They knew that we pawned our gun. They went their way. It was a trip. But you know... All sorts of people come here, asking for all sorts of things. Wait, then it might be true, Everard's claims. Maybe Claire really is tracking down your gun. Hmm. Nice, people thank you. People as oleaginous as Everard seem like they're lying, even when they're really being truthful. Yeah, I definitely thought Everard was lying. I've been assuming this whole time that Everard was definitely lying. Of course. Alright, I guess we can ask sure that last thing. question about the gun. You... You were adamant about getting rid of it, officer. Said you were undeserving of a service weapon of the Revachol Citizens Militia. That's fair. And I don't like keeping guns around the shop for long. Off the charts, <laughs> photon emissions. The unhealthy kind. That's what they are. Yeah, what if the trucker lady has our gun? What if the lady who was running drugs is the one with our gun? That's terrible. But you know, we would kill two birds with one stone if we find her then. So maybe it's actually fine. Sure, man. All right, we're done. Art. Yes. Actual art degree. We got it in an hour and a half. Trite, contrived, mediocre, milk toast, amateurish, infantile, cliche and gonorrhea ridden peon to conformism. I fucked me. Affront to humanity. War crime. Should literally be tried for war crimes. Resolutely shit. Lacking in imagination. Uninformed reimagining of. Lip wristed. Premature. Ill informed attempt at. Talentless fuckfest. Recividistic shit peddler. Pedantic. Listless. Savagely boring. Just one repulsive laugh after another. Oof, that's a lot. 
But yeah, the art is really cool. What do we get from this? Minus one hand-eye coordination. Hands shake from anger how shit it all is. Conceptualization passives heal plus one morale and give plus ten experience. Healing morale doesn't give us a whole lot, but I'll take experience. Nice. I mean, that's pretty cool. Ooh, Kim Kitsuragi, logic formidable that we can do now. And we can try the abandoned lorry. Cool. All right, Kim, let's go. <laughs> yeah, hands shaking all the time really is too real. All right, Kim. Yes. 42%. Look at you. Oh, nice. It's because you're a failure. They yep. sent you to Slight, Precinct 57. Yep. Just think about it for a second. You're a raging alcoholic who showed up three days late wearing this stained disco garb. You weren't sent here to win. Kim, help me. Kim, I'm, I'm struggling. I've considered it. It's definitely true. It would be immensely ugly of them, not to mention unprofessional. But I also think it's somewhat unlikely. Really? I checked the record. This jurisdiction dispute, who polices Martinez, reaches back to the 30th. It's as old as my station. And all this time, we can't decide who gets Martinez? I think, yes, both stations would prefer a win. So you are their finest. I am the finest of nothing. <laughs> Am I okay, Safe? Kim? No, but you're old. You've made it this far. <laughs> Something has brought you through. We've only just started working together, so I don't know what it is yet. But it's there. Blind dumb luck. So no, I don't think they sent you as a joke. And even if they did, they are in for a surprise. Oh, Kim, thank you. Kim, nice to us for once. Yeah, everything is happy. I'm gonna buy more morale healing stuff because we're getting really low. Yeah, Kim is so sweet. Kim is so good. A small cabinet on the wall. Is All right, okay. at least it's yeah. really okay. cheap. Okay. okay, here. I hope Saint Batiste makes you feel better or something. We really are a magnesium-based life form. <laughs> so much magnesium. Yeah, magnesium-based life form is coming along. We have 51 minutes left for it. I don't know if that's in-game minutes or real-time minutes, though. All right, we're running out of stuff to do. We have, didn't we have a skill point? I guess I spent it on something. Running out of stuff to do, we gotta find... Oh wait, there was... The abandoned lorry, we could also try something again. So let's do that. And there's a check with Joyce that we can retry. Come on. Let me let me back in here. Come on. I want to get to the lorry. We are so close to the lorry. How do I? I'm lost and confused. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. I accidentally scrolled in. <laughs> Alright. A lorry abandoned by its owner. I mean... The smell of cigarette. These? One of them. There's definitely perfume in the air. The remnants of a sweet juniper. The Was there... Wasn't it, like, breaking strange. the door in? There are so many radio stations saved here. Must be all... The smell of a metallic drawer slides out from... It's an issue of... It looks like an art. The Yulen frequency... The pull-out toolbox slot. You wedge us. But what sandpaper adds extra... The movie stars are still... Yeah, closed. I think this was the check. It's saying we could retry the check to, like, break the door in. But we don't need to redo the check to break the door in because the door is open now. It's nice that these white checks are, like... Like, I'm not... Putting points into things. They're just like 
coming up available again. So let's try talking to Joyce again. Down here. Run, run, run. Run, Harry, run. Run, 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 run. Joyce is so far away. Alright, I'm gonna save. It's been a little while. Alright. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? More lessons in basic reality? My huh. favorite part of the day. Go ahead. Ask me anything. Glad to have been of assistance. What? I fear I've told. Is there anything what are else? The, what hmm. is the thing that we can Of course, redo. Detective. What would you like to know? Good. Well, the lane cleaning the apartment could have more there dialogue. There is a touch of discomfort. She nods. Of course. Hmm. Of course. It said I could retry anything to help. A volition check. But the volition checks reality. are locked. My favorite part of the day. Go ahead. Glad to have been of assistance. The little so I don't I know. even know what check it's talking about there. Yeah, we can talk to the lady cleaning the apartment. Maybe she knows something. <sighs> Give me a moment. Ask away, Ooh. policeman. The hell am I supposed to know? <laughs> Another nut job, I assume. Some lunatic lost his mind. All kinds of morons pass through these halls. The artiste? Nothing I can do about her, I'm afraid. She ruins the walls faster than I can clean them. Still... She leaves an old lady to her business. More than I can say for others. She mumbles some kind of a response. Alright, it seems like that's all the dialogue she's got. But yeah, I'm getting deepy. Um, we're basically just killing time. I think I'm gonna call it here for this stream today. And we can pick up next time with like going to sleep and um and then we can go do a lot of things on wednesday like there's a lot of things that we're going to be able to do the next day but it seems like we've basically done what we can do for the day it seems for the most part so thank you so much for coming and hanging out i had a lot of fun it's really nice to be back and like talking to you guys again and oh yeah playing talking to the witness tomorrow night as well yeah or tonight not tomorrow night tonight Thanks for coming out and thanks for hanging out. It's been a lot of fun and I really missed you guys when I was gone. And it's been fun to like be back and play more of the mystery game. And hanging out and talking to you guys again. So thank you, thank you. Yeah, we'll raid somebody. Who are we going to raid? The autosave is so scary. We can raid Rummy again. Rummy was there last time. Oh, do you have a suggestion? I will take a suggestion. Absolutely. More friends is always good. And I'm happy to happy to meet more people. Okay, I'm gonna have to copy paste that. NPC Noah? Let's go. She's doing art. Art is so cool. Alright, let's go. Alright, have a good night everybody. I hope you guys have a good time and thanks so much for coming and hanging out. Good night!